This is the Sega Can Gamer, and you are live with the MMA Home! Mixed Martial A Holes! MMA Holes, 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 You like to be a mixed martial a hole. No way. From the Queen Studios of New York, Tito Orti, Chuck Liddell, Part 3. We'll be reacting to Golden Boy's first MMA promotional blah 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 with the MMA. Oh. <laughs> wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here. We are live. The MMA holes unite for Chuck Tito, part three. Not a rubber match, but a match of redemption for Tito Ortiz as he is fighting in more aged Chuck Liddell. Very removed from the sport. It's going down tonight on Fight TV. But the MMA holes, we're streaming and we are reacting to this. Jesse. Yesy. How pumped up are you? I don't know. You this time I, I'm uh I'm I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm I I don't know what to expect, to be honest. Well, tonight. We are going to watch, we're going to witness Golden Boy's first ever mixed martial arts event. We're going to react to the entire main card. There are fights going on right now. Really bizarre how the pay-per-view starts and there's two people rolling around the cage already. No clue who it is, right? Right. It, it literally just d jumps into a fight over here and two guys are on the floor. You, there's a million mistakes already. There's these weird graphics on the screen and we didn't pay for it. Um, but it's crystal clear. Shout out. To our patrons for keeping this show going and flowing, and hopefully this stream holds up. Very clear, Jesse. How? Huh? Crystal it is clear. So far, so good. Yeah. yeah. How many people? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> you don't know. Let's not jinx it. Knock so on wood. We're informed tonight. Anyway, yeah, we streamed at uh, for China UFC China this morning, and this is two fight buddies in one <laughs> night in the MMA whole studio. Vlad coming in. Choo-choo! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! <laughs> Show fights. It's a live. You lie to me. Thank you, Vlad. Leave it to Vlad. And thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Vlad. I appreciate that. Artem Lobov donation over there. So this is the deal. If you can't get the fights, it is on Fight TV. It's like 40 or 50 bucks. A little ridiculous, a little steep for a fight of this magnitude. So... We'll talk you through what we see. A main card, and here it is on Tapology over here. And it looks like a six-fight main card. The only person that stands out is Gleason Tebow, who is uh, in the UFC. He's not even the co-main event. Um, uh, this one here, Tom Lola versus uh, Darren Wynn. Uh, undefeated Darren Wynn. Okay. You know, people are like, oh, that's going to be an exciting fight. But, I mean, you, nothing spectacular. We're all here for Tito Ortiz versus Chuck Liddell, right? I mean, what else? The reason why people are paying 40 to 50 bucks is because they just give a fuck about this. Some don't give a fuck about at all, you know? Um, but I kind of care. Like, I don't know why. There's something about this that intrigues me, and that's why we're streaming this. What I kind of care. You? Well, I mean, the two legends of the sport... Tito Ortiz, if he loses this fight too, I mean, that's it's pretty embarrassing, right? Don't you think? I mean, you got you got finished both times mm. in one and two, and number three. How old is Chuck Liddell now? What he's pushing fifty? He's been out of the sport for about ten years, maybe more. Um, I mean, imagine if he gets finished again, Tito Ortiz, who uh, you know he he's he's not completely losing. I mean, his last fight was a win. He beat Chael Sonnen for God's but sake. But look. L L L W L. So you're saying the the last run of Chuck Liddell, he's he's seen better days, and this is embarrassing. He's 48 years I, old. Wouldn't you be? And 11 months. Oh my God, he's almost 49 years old. This man over here. 
I, I don't know if it's embarrassing because he's a legend, but it doesn't look good. Let's just say it that. It does not look good at all. How about the commentators over here? We see Frank Mir and we see Rashad Evans, the color commentators. I like the fact that they're bringing in some UFC people over here or former UFC people, I should say. Um, I like the fact that there is another organization promoting mixed martial arts. I like that there's more options other than just Bellator or, you know, now you have so many promotions out there. There's so many ways to watch the sport. If this works out, more stuff for us to stream. <sighs> More more work for you, Jesse, sitting there watching them fight. Yes. They're showing the co-main event over here, Darren Ware, uh, Wilson, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't, I don't even know these guys. And you know what's funny? No, neither does Oscar De La Hoya. He has no clue. The uh, The press conference was a complete shit show. Uh, De La Hoya looked like he was all coked up. Maybe we need to be coked up during this. I agree. You think so? Yes. All right. Let's see what the chat says over here. Welcome to the show. 211 watching. We're going to have a sexy swole ride together. T. Brad says, I like the presentation. Vito Garcia says, Golden Boy MMA Holes. Can share right you. MMA Holes will never run out of work. LOL. Roberto says, LOL. Sean Hart says, Michael, two joints. Sup, guys. Colvick says, one FC was great yesterday morning. You should have seen it. Celtic J says De La Hoya on Coke and Drag. We're going to have to start paying attention to that 1FC. I mean, now the Dragon big UFC fighter is over there, and it looks mm -hmm. like Mighty Mouse and Eddie Alvarez, are, is, they're not going to stop there. Yeah. They're looking, I mean, what were they, whose contract is, oh, Cyborg. They were talking about that today. I think it was on Rogan, or I can't remember who was talking about it. Chris Cyborg has one more fight left on our contract. Yeah. What if 1FC grabs her too? They might. You know? They might. Uh, and then you're going to have to watch it. And 1FC, if I'm not mistaken, is free, right? Is it? I mean, I, I, I'm I not sure. Know. I'm not entirely sure on that. I think it's free, unlike this, which you have to pay for. I need to take a vote in the chat. With 212 watching... How many people actually bought this? We're not going to criticize you for buying this because you're the reason why this thing is going on, right? But how many people bought this? Put your hands in the air in the chat. Like I'm, you just don't care. Yeah, I'm not going to, my hand's not going to go in the air because, but let me know if you bought this and how you are watching the stream or if you're watching the stream at all. You are says, I wish she was free. Alex Cruz says, I want to watch it though. Clock says, I did not. Jared Guy says, no, I'm hoping you tell me what's going on, love. All right. Mike Hunt says, fuck no. I didn't buy shit. Nightmare says, hey, Victoria. Drunk some sab I almost Wow, the chat up. is flying right I now. Know. Sean Hart says, nah, I'll listen on AM radio. Jack Mayer says, it will be a draw. They will both cripple of old age before... They get in the cage. Victoria Garrett says, who you got for Maine? I'm going with, usually Tito. I don't give uh, our picks. We don't do the picks until the fight happens. But honestly, we're going to give you our picks because we couldn't give two shits about the rest of the card. We're going to talk you through it. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to watch. We're going to react. But I'm going with Tito. And I'm probably going to eat my words. I mean, a lot of people are going with Tito. But, you know, he did lose twice to the guy. I know he's pushing 50. But he is Chuck Liddell. He yeah. is the Iceman. I just think that Tito is younger. I think he's more powerful at his age right now. He has a, a lot of tools in his arsenal. I feel he's going to try to drag him to the ground and do some work down there. I mean, I don't know. I got to go with the big-headed Mexican in this one. Jesse, what do you say? I'm going to go with the big-headed Mexican. Hmm. Okay. I see Systematic says it's funny when people make fun of their age. Most of you will be lucky to even get to that age alive. Well, here's the funny part. It's true, though. You want to make fun of this is well no nah, they are older than me okay so <laughs> i'm closer to tito but i'm close to them so how old yeah. is tito tito's 43 he's 43 years right, old so but 43 years, years old yeah in two years i'll be a tito ortiz maybe my head will get as big and mexican as his <laughs> it's already big yeah. so maybe it'll turn mexican as well i don't know but tito ortiz 1912 and one a legend of the sport and chuck liddell as well it's going to be a good interesting fight um We'll see. We'll see. I wasn't impressed with Chuck Liddell, you know, his sparring. You know, everyone was talking about that, and I'm on the same page. I don't... Uh, that's all right, Systematic. I don't give a fuck. It's directed to the chat, and the chat is us. I take I take the bullets for the chat, right? That's how this works. Uh, but Chuck Liddell, I don't know if he was playing possum. Some were saying that, and that's what I was saying to Jesse. I was like, do you think that that's what he was doing? And, um, uh, and I don't think he was. I think he was just kind of holding back a little bit. He showed power. Michael Bisping says it didn't look like he was, you know, he didn't look that bad out there. 
Um, I think he looked old. You know, I really do. And Tito Ortiz is joking around about it. I think he does. But I don't think Tito Ortiz is taking this fight lightly. I can't see that. So it should be a good one. Yeah. She don't give a fuck. Honestly, this one over I here. I do. What? Yeah? Yes. No, you don't. You're He's lying. You gotta stop saying right. that. Let me let me let me bring it to you this way. If I were to say, Jesse, I'm not streaming. That's it. We're not streaming for Chuck Tito tonight. You'd be like, okay, what movie do you want to watch? Say, we'll curl up on the couch and make out. I'd say, okay, get in bed and take your pants off. I <laughs> see. That's what I'm saying. So uh, listen. But I do care. Yeah, you, you care. Doesn't mean I don't care. Just because I want, I would rather see you naked. Doesn't mean I don't well, care. N- so does the rest of the chat. Well. But here's the thing: when it comes down to it, all empty seats out there. I mean. I feel they could have done this a little bit better. You know, that, that's the thing that bothers me. I feel that they could have put something together a lot better. How do we have Rashad Evans, you know, who is retired, and Frank Mir, who is in, well, isn't he in Bellator, right? But Rashad Evans is retired. I mean, Rashad Evans has been, you know, saying maybe he'll come back or something like that. How do we have these other guys or these other older UFC fighters or some of the fighters in the PF, uh, PFL, these other organizations, why can we put some more known fighters on this card? Maybe what they're trying to do is grow their own roster. I don't know. And then put the two legends up top and see how that goes. But I am not impressed. We're starting off the card here with two heavyweights. Okay. Two heavyweights is starting off this card on the main card. Let's take a look at these guys since we have no idea what the fuck we're looking at. All right. The fat fuck on the right is walking in first. Jay Silva. And no, he's not Jay Silva. He's, that's the black guy, Jesse. Oscar Ivan Cota. There you go. <laughs> Virtually you said, identical. You said on the right. I look to the left. Yeah, yeah. So they look a lot alike. Welcome Jess. to my brain. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, Oscar Ivan Cota. Let's look at him. Elevation from Mexico. The Elevation. Let's see. Uh, let's see what this guy's got over here on the topologies. We scroll down and a lot of wins. Cole Vick wow. says Jay Silva is trash. Look at these wins over here. Fucking A. Last one was a unanimous, a KO, a unanimous KO, results unknown. Um, that's a little shady. Punches. Wow, this, so this guy is pretty damn good. I tell you, I'm a sucker for a Mexican fighter, especially a fat one. Look, this guy's got floppy tits. The perfect recipe for a Mexican f- a fighter is mm. Mexican. You got to be Mexican, right? Tell you me have about to this. have floppy tits. Yeah. You have to have that linebacker back, like that, that, that wide back belly. You need a little bit of a belly. That's what you have to be, the perfect you fighter for me. Vlad coming in. Kane, Sihudo, and Tito could all say they're brothers, and I'd believe it. Hmm. All big headed Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they all have that in common. It's true. What is up with that? Now, listen, I'm half Irish. And Irish people have big fucking heads, too. Look at the size of this melon. Oh, he has a massive head. It's a massive Look head. Look at it in comparison. But she has a little head. You're, you're weird because you are you Look have Mexican descent. You have, you have some Mexican inside you. Your, your head is clearly not the size of a Mexican, though. Mexicans need Mexicans big heads. Mexicans don't have big heads. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. What not. the fuck are you talking about? What? Do you think? what? Not all Mexicans have big heads. Well, I've never seen a Mexican with a small head. Come meet my family. You're, well, maybe your family's deformed. They're not fully Mexican. My Come mom's on. side, there's, yeah. Listen, if you have a big head, be proud. I got a big head. I'm proud of my big head, for God's sakes. If you have a little head, be proud of your little head. There are full Mexicans on my mom's side of the family who don't have big heads. Cain Velasquez's head. That's a pretty big head. Well, he, I don't know. Yeah, hmm. Cain Velasquez, he's got a big, he's got the typical body, Cain. I don't know how big, I don't know. No, Chris, she has an Irishman inside her. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. All right, the next fighter that's walking in is Jay Silva. It's a good thing we're live tonight because we get to laugh and have some fun. Jay Silva, the Brazilian, scroll down, look at his statisticals over here. And let's see, he's coming off a win, a unanimous decision, and then a majority loss. A loss, well, where, how did they pull this one off? This guy's not, he doesn't even have a win. He has an Artem Lobo record over here. How do they, who is the matchmaker? 10 and 1 and 11 and 12. Is it, did this guy just get punched in the face? I think they just pulled him out of the fucking audience. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesse. shit. We have ourselves a problem. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we're back. It's okay, Whew. guys. That stream that we paid for, it just froze for a second, but everything's fine. Shh. All right. Yeah, you're right. Colvick, you hit the nail on the head. This guy is hot trash. He's not just trash. I kind of hope he wins. No, I don't. I'm always a sucker for the Mexican. Who am I kidding? 
this guy will this matchmaker's fantastic. Well, he's like, well, he's coming off of a win. Let's throw him at the ten and one guy that hasn't lost in forever. It's a, it's a. Well, how about this? The Mexican guy's thirty four years him. old. How what, how does this work? All right, let's look at the Taylor tape. So Oscar Cota is thirty four years old, six two two sixty point eight, and the age of Jay Silver is thirty seven, six foot two two. What's with the graphic? The graphic goes so far sideways, it's just like, look at my graphic, it bends so far, you can't even see the fucking numbers. What is the guy on crack? Yes. The hell kind of production team? Oh, it just conked out again on us. This pay-per-view we paid for. Are we hitting... No, that's that's the HDMI, Jess. Oh, oh, okay, not. there we go. HDMI yeah, I think it's, I think it's going touched. to sleep. I don't know. All right. I'm getting nervous. I think you're coming up with like reasons for it to conk out on us. Okay, so we got two guys. This guy's ten and one, and he's thirty four years old. When did he get started? Oscar, Ivan Kota. All right, I'm scroll down. He's being announced right now, and he's been fighting for a minute. Two thousand fifteen took a loss. Two thousand thirteen started. Two thousand and eleven. So he's got a, a bunch of years under his belt. A lot of wins. Hmm. His opponent is 37. Jay Silva, 37 years old. The Spider Killer. That's not a really uh, devastating name, right? Mike Beltron. Jay Silva, the Spider Killer. What? Like, no. it's like, what kind of name do you want to have? I'm going to go with the Spider Killer because those pesky spiders that take him out with the Spider Killer? The fuck? The spider killer? It's like Chris Mystic Fly Swatter. All right, they started. Start the clock. Oops. Oh my God, Jesse, look what you did. Yeah, I did it. I don't even have a clock. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. All right, here, let's sync it up with the clock over here. Silva versus Kota. All right, and boom, there's our clock. Okay. If you want to sync it up with us, the first fight has begun. Silva versus Kota. Right off the bat, I'm looking at the aesthetics, okay? The bottom of the screen, oh, it's gone. Why do they do that? <laughs> Why do they get rid of the names? We don't know these guys. Like now, yeah, it's the Mexican guy versus a Brazilian guy. We're in the first round of three, has a clock over there. But why not just keep the fucking names on the screen? Bellator does that too. It's like you don't know the guys and you're kind of like, okay, who's that guy? What's that guy's name again? Oh, this, the name's gone. Why? This is an interesting setup they've got here. It's a, it's actually kind of weird. Like it, it almost... It's almost like, um, it, maybe you're right. It almost is kind of like the local. It looks like a like, local event. The this looks like a PFC event. To. Yeah. This is not. This is not professional in any way. Now PFL, they do a good job. Uh, yeah. Bellator, they do a good job as well. But Bellator is on the Paramount Network. PFL. This looks like they just NBC. rented out a hotel room and then. This is a straight up pay per view with a. A shitty ass streaming service. I mean, Fight TV is good, but I mean, not. To compete with the UFC, you know? All right, anyway. All right, so what is this guy Silva doing? The, the spider kill is dancing in the cage. What is he doing? He's going back and forth. He's doing the cha-cha out there. What the fuck? <laughs> They're literally dancing, and I'm not even fucking exaggerating. No, he's actually dancing. Silva's dancing. Oh, a head kick. Head kick by the Mexicano. And a kick to the body. Pushes against the fence. The spider killer is trying to fight off a single leg. Kota. Kota, Kota, Kota with knees to the thighs of the spider killer. Kota looking to, wow, look at, Kota's putting all that body weight against the spider killer. And you can see the fence just bending. It's just like melting into the crowd. That's a lot of weight going against that fence. Or maybe it's just a cheap fence. (laughs) (laughs) She's going to rip apart this entire organization. Spinning elbow by Mayhikin. Look at that belly. It's like a... By the way, this guy is roided to the gills. Jay Silva, look at the muscles on this fucking guy. Nah, I don't think he's roided. What the... F- he's not roided? Nah. I First of all, he skipped leg day. That, that's just to say that right there. There is zero chaos. No, maybe it's just his genetics. Fuck? Like, John Jones has thinny, skinny legs. No, this guy has traps up to his fucking forehead. Maybe he likes to work his upper body. Yeah, and just skip leg day like yeah. myself. I'm the only one that's allowed to skip leg day. Anybody got links to watch the fights? I'm not too bad you're not a patron. Check it out online, uh, <laughs> Reddit. Google that shite. Uh, Victoria really wants to see your socks. And she doesn't have socks on. Yeah, I do. Oh, she does. They're little socks. Yeah. 
All right. So against the fence, we have Cota doing some work on the Brazilian. The Brazilian's trying to fight off the Mexican, but Cota is just landing some knees to the thigh, knee to the thigh, over and over and over again, stomping on the foot, grinding it out. The first fight of the main card, a knee to the body by Silva. Silva against the fence as Cota is just doing some work here. Very interesting matchup between a guy that has an Artem Lobov record and a guy that's almost undefeated. Psh. Art wants to see your MMA hole. I want to see your MMA hole. <laughs> whoa, whoa, 20 likes. 20 likes, 20 likes. We got to play it three times. I've got fucking 20 likes. Let's go. All that fancy music, and they are still against the cage. The ref breaks it up and says, come on, motherfuckers, fight. And here we go. Wow, this is so sloppy. A winging right hand comes in by Coda just to go against the fence. Silva trying to fight him off, and they're just hugging against the fence. This is fugly, fugly, fugly fighting. You know, Coda's not even trying to go for a takedown Yeah, here. I don't really know what's, what. Oh, here we go. He hurt us. And he tries to go for a double leg. The guy's too strong. And Silva. And Silva spun him around. Oh, I kind of hope Silva wins. Did he spin him around? It looks like he kind of just leaned. Cota looked, the, the he game. had a couple extra hamburgers before the fight. The guy is a pure fat. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Holy shit. How about Silva? Silva turns him around and Coda against the fence. Coda. Whoa. Round is over. Okay. We saw, we saw some action at the end of that round. Hmm. All right. So, you know what? I, I, I mean, I... I guess you got to give it to Coda because he had most of the control for the round. Mm -hmm. But at the end, Silva turned it up. I'm still going to have to go Coda first round. What would you say? Yeah, I would give it to Coda, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give it to Coda. This is a shit round. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, I think Brian Roger asked. All the fights are in the description below. They're listed in the description below. So right now we're on Coda. So go backwards. That's right. We're watching the first fight of the main card. If you're jumping in right now, we're reacting to Jay Silva versus Oscar Ivan Cota. This is on Chuck Tito, number three, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy promotion. We got some mixed martial arts going on, and uh, it's sloppy. That's to be expected. I hope Chuck TKO's Tito's Tito against his Ken Shiro. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm rooting for Chuck. I just don't know if he's going to win. But it would be funny. It really would be funny to see Chuck win three times. Tito's kind of a douche. This guy, oh my God, this guy Coda, what is going on? His body looks like it's melting. And then you look at Silva. How is this guy? This guy is not drug tested. This guy, he, he's not on drugs. What are you kidding me? No way. That man is, there is nothing natural about this man. <laughs> no besides way. Besides his legs. No Look way. at his legs. What is going on here? Now, here's the thing. Listen, I have tiny legs, but by no means do I have an upper body like this man over here. He's a fucking... He's just a national... Oh, Silva with the right! Drops Coda! Silva, oh, Silva hammer fist! Coda's like a fat fish on his back. Flopping on the mat as Silva's just dropping more rights. Now, can is Silva going to gas out from all this action? Holy shit. I guess you can throw elbows. As that's what Silva's doing. Silva's trying. <laughs> this is so sloppy. <laughs> it's a slop. Oh, mounted. The Mexican is mounted. Silva, the Brazilian, going for the back now. Wow. Some trouble. This man over here, like, what kind of matchmaking is this? I guess we were wrong. As Jay Silva drops Coda, fight's still going on. Now Coda getting back up to the feet. What? Yep. Slip back up. Yeah, watch this dude's cardio, man. Carrying all that fucking muscle. He doesn't even look real. Whoa, that See was in that the back uppercut? of the head. Silva threw a right, and that definitely was illegal. Both fighters are against the fence now, and the long-bearded man is looking on as our stream just froze. <laughs> Fuck me. In the asshole. Bellator doesn't test? Yeah, they do. They test. But it's not USADA. For sure. Now we have to stop the clock. So here's the deal, guys. Listen. Our stream is... It is what it is. Oh, uh, Jess, what did you do? I Why? I didn't do anything. No, don't touch anything. No, nothing's being done. Oh, 
I saw the See mouse. No, I saw the mouse going back and forth. Don't touch anything, please. I didn't do anything. All right, so the stream froze. All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop the clock over here. There is going to be our clock where you can see where we're at. There is definitely going to be a delay. Oh, fuck me. Okay. We're not going to see the rest of this fight. You want me to refresh it? Well, now you have Watch to. Watch refresh. Yeah. I'll refresh it. Let's refresh it. Shit balls. All right, we're going to refresh the stream as we're having technical difficulties. I can't believe this. We paid for this. How dare, how dare this not work for us? Brian Roger, you ordered the pay-per-view. How about that? How dare you? Okay. Wow, we went backwards in time. Okay, I'll sync it up here. Ooh. What do you mean you'll sync it up? Well, we're at three yeah, minutes. we're way. That's too much. Oh minutes. shit. Mm. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Ah, right. uh, super, super chat. chat. Where we oh, the coon hangers back. Welcome back. Hit another Nigor with my Bronco. Kept driving face with tears of joy. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Coonhanger. All right. Thank you for the likes. Appreciate it. 82 likes, five people dying of leprosy. And Silva is just mutilating the body against the fence of Coda. Coda's hurting. Knees and knees and knees over and over again in the belly of the Mexican. Coda looking tired as they are against the fence and Silva doing the work. Man, that is some serious belly. Nice job by Coda spinning Silva back to the fence. And here comes, now they're returning the favor. Oh, that's a nut shot. Let's stop the clock. And stopped. Coda with the nut shot on Silva as we stop that clock. Hmm? 123. One, two, three. There we go. Oop. This fight is horrific to watch. Yeah, Kevin, I have a feeling this whole event is going to be absolute hot steaming dog trash. Ah, uh, super chat. Super chat. Whoa, Glenn! Did I hear you say that the shitty stuff about this event reminded you of a Premier <laughs> FC event? Yeah, Aww. Glenn. Yeah, I did say that. Thank you for the donation over there. <laughs> it does. Doesn't it look like a PFC stream? <laughs> you you know it does, Glenn. You stop it. But that's actually no a compliment. No arguments here. No, it's a compliment to Premier FC. I mean, if you think about it, it's like the same fucking thing. <laughs> Is it a compliment? Yeah. It, oh, sh hell yeah. We were just... How much money do you think De La Hoya paid to do this, right? And how much money do you think Premier FC pays? Yeah. Think about it. That's a compliment to Premier FC. It's a complete insult to Oscar De La Hoya. I think you might be... Take that. Okay. Yeah, well, think about it. I think Premier FC yeah. got the best bang for the buck there. <laughs> Listen, it's the goddamn truth. Thank you, Glenn, for the donation. <laughs> we'll be back at Premier FC. Don't worry. We'll fix everything. Super we'll fix it all. Chat. Super chat, G man. Walnut shot. How about a hammer to the sack for me? <laughs> so, can someone help G man out with that, for God's sakes? Thank you to the donations, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, this fight is very technical, says Johnny. Yeah, it's, it, against the fence, it's knee for knee, and it keeps on getting broken up. It's technical. The ref keeps on breaking it up because the ref is bored out of his mind. Now, it started off good the second round. Did start off good. The first round was a complete hot steaming piece of trash. Um, oh, a spinning back fist by Silva. Misses. They're both in the middle of the cage. And here we go. Coda pushes back to the cage and more knees. Another nut shot. Oh, two nut shots. Yo, this guy's going to get pointed at the end of the round. Our clock stopped. But with two seconds left, two nut shots by Silva. It was one nut shot and then Silva threw another knee. I guarantee they take a point. Let's watch this. They're showing the replay. You know what's funny? Silva even put his arm down because it was just like, I know he's going to kick me in the nuts, and he still did it. Here is one, and well, the other one went to the thigh. No, one, only one nut shot. Uh, I, you got to think, there's two nut shots in this round, and there's the point. Mr. Mustache does not like it, and whew. Now, that changes things up, right? The first round was in favor of the Mexican. The second round, I'm going to give it to Silva as this round should be over. There it is. I think we got a split fight, but with that point taken away, 
it doesn't do Coda any good in this first fight of the main card. So what does everyone in the chat think so far of Golden Boy's attempt at mixed martial arts? Let us know in the chat immediately. Piggy Bean says he cheats on purpose. The A-side says, yeah, it's technically a clusterfuck. James Tisdale says he's salty. Martin Con- Conta Conta gets banned says, I found fight free watching live. Eddie Ken says Chuck will lost control. Uh, Roberto says holding gloves and nut shot. Two joints says two, mo- two points, two joints. Isaiah Moore says pew. Christopher Shelton, rest in peace, UFC. Vlad says <laughs> meh. Jose Rodriguez says fuck golden boy. <laughs> uh, well, uh, listen, it's given us something to do now. So I, I don't want to completely tear it apart. It's not pretty, but it's the first time doing it, right? Mm-hmm. So I guess there has to be some sort of like uh, wiggle room, super right? Super sure. chat. Yes. Real, real. Any Jews DM me a link on IG if paid stream wink. All right. There uh, you he's have not it. a patron. He doesn't know. Someone help real, real out. All right. Here we go. Starting the third round. So, yeah, they have it the same way. One Coda, one Silva, but there is a point taken away in the second round. So, Frank Mears is 19 17 in favor of Silva. They both hug. Wow, that's a long hug to start the third round. <laughs> that was a long ass hug. By the way, NH, if you're here, NH, I am drinking out of your dragon mug. Your dragon. That's right. There's dragons on this side, and there's the MMA holes. Thank you, NH, for the mug. I'm sipping delicious water from this. Mm-hmm. UFC wasn't built overnight. Yeah, that's true, Michael. That is true. That is true. My thing is this. like, I feel... The biggest, well, there's a lot of problems. I mean, even with the weigh-ins, there's, there's just so many problems. I feel that you can watch and learn from these bigger organizations and, and capitalize off of their mistakes. It just seems like they're making their own mistakes, De La Hoya's organization. What do you mean? Like, just watching the weigh-ins and the production of this. I mean, the production is not very good. It's it's watchable. But, I mean, if I were, oh, nice takedown by Coda. If I were to pay $50 for the pay-per-view, I mean, I'd be like, eh. Yeah. I mean, I could pay $9 for some other fight, some like random fight in fucking Nowhereville and see the same type of production as this. Yeah. I mean, Triton, F- Triton fights. Triton fights has a better fucking production well, than this. Well, in fairness, Triton fights and CES both have some amazing Well, CES has access TV. That's, ho- that's a whole different ballgame. They True. have access TV. True. Uh, but and, they um, even but yeah, they the people do that have... don't see CES. I mean, what are you doing? The, I mean, it's the light years better than this shit. But they do have access TV. Nice takedown by Silva. Stood up and Silva gets a takedown. But Triton Fights is an all amateur organization out of New York. Shout out to Triton Fights and shout out to Tiger Life Energy. Wonderful, wonderful. But Triton Fights wonderful, is better than this shit. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I would give Triton Fights ten times better rating than this. Two joints. You have no idea what you're talking about. Zero. Z- zero point zero, as Ronnie Munn would say. Zero point zero. Triton Fights actually has a good production. Triton Fights has a background. They're connected with HBO, the the uh, CEO of Triton Fights. So, oh, oh, going for the choke. Silva fights over. Silva gets the choke. He didn't tap. Wow. He didn't tap. I didn't see him tap. What? Well, he was going to die, Jesse. Silva, look at this shit. Jay the Spider Killer, all roided up. Getting the win. Hops on top of the fence. You know what? I mean, if you look at both guys, you wouldn't be surprised. But looking at the stats, you think it's a lopsided matchup. Yeah. And no. Wow. Silva getting the win. A little shocked. A little bit. Look at the size of this guy. This guy's huge. This fat fuck. Goddamn Mexico. He let Mexico down, Jesse. Oscar, you son of a bitch. You let down Mexico. What do you say, chat? Just kidding. He says UFC already set the template, though. Much easier to put on a quality MMA show now than it was in 1994, my dude. 100%. Dude, Clonic oh, says. Super chat. Super Kevin chat. Costa. Is De La Hoya returning all these guys back to prison after using them for the flights? <laughs> you know, he? he's, probably, he's probably right. That's a good question. Is they he? do look like <laughs> inmates. <laughs> it does look like a roster of inmates. This guy, there's no way this guy is is clean. This guy Silva is retardedly big. Like, what a choke though, huh? The head and arm. 
locked up and no doubt night night did he argue that yeah he argued it really yeah because he didn't tap um look that though no, well, the right arm goes down yeah no winking. that's a good stop no he moved yeah that's a good stop though he wasn't even fighting. Remember yeah. that guy that was in a choke and like he looked like he was going to die, but he was in the choke for like a minute long. Well, he, uh, yeah. No, this is a completely different situation. I mean, he wasn't even trying. He was just, yeah, he's done. Oh, I don't know. Let me know in the chat. chat. What do you think? Yo, Glenn making it rain. Okay, okay. Enough of the other promotion shows being better than this and Premier FC is equal to the <laughs> shit parts LMAO. Wait, what? <laughs> what did Glenn say? Okay, okay, okay. Enough of the other promotion shows being better than this in essence, Triton or CES. Yeah. And Premier FC is equal to the shit parts. Laughing Listen, my ass off. Okay. We love Premier FC. Okay. Karen's great. She's fantastic. She's been on show a million times. Uh, Premier FC treats us like gold. They're, they're a very nice promotion. In fact, the ones that we've gone to, and I've been there three or four times, I think it was four times actually. Mm awesome stuff good fights uh good quality entertainment i love it i love i love what premier fc does over there but let's be honest it's a, it's a small promotion you know it's it's not it's not at this magnitude so i mean it's apples and oranges it really is like we're talking regional shit here with premier fc for what they do i think they excel i think they're one of the better ones triton fights they do something different, different. yeah because their production is bonkers it's bonkers over there but they pride themselves on that karen for what she does over there does a good job she puts on a good show that's what she wants to do so you know shout out to that now i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> thank you glenn thank you how dare you all right thank you uh, for the donation meat mouth no i didn't say anything bad about premiere though i didn't it's i true. mean they are listen if any anyone knows i'm very honest over here and I didn't say anything bad about Premiere. I said they're good at what they do, right? Yes. They're good at what they do. If they ever <laughs> wanted to expand, now if they're like, we're gonna compete with the UFC, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, slow your roll. But that's mm -hmm. not what they're doing, you know? And Karen even said that on the show, that's not what they're doing. Oscar De La Hoya is looking to compete with the UFC with this steaming pile of shit over here. No. Aw, oh, super now. chat. Real, real. The Gambino crime family owns Premier FC. <laughs> no, yeah, they don't. No, it's. I don't, I don't know if you're thinking see, of the yes. right promotion, buddy. Well, they don't. They don't actually. By the way, so John Gotti the third, who's been on the show many of times, yeah, with CES, we found out today that he re-upped his contract with CES, so he has some more fights. I think three more fights. Uh -huh. I think that's how it works. So John Gotti the third has re-upped with CES, so we get to travel with him to find out what the future is for. John the Third. I say Bellator. Bellator. I say I think he's going to go into Bellator. I well, he has some work be, to do. He, he, he does, but I think that's going to be the first promotion that offers him something, and I think that's going to be one of the first promotions he takes, because he even said he's not looking for like oh big UFC name. That's not what he's looking for. He he would like to go pro, but I think he's he's genuinely into it for the game. Yeah, if you're not familiar you know? with John Gotti, the the Gotti family, the crime family, they they have an interesting past. The third generation is a mixed martial artist and he is now 3 and 0 all finishes in the first round and he's slowly moving up and we'll, we're taking we're going along for the ride so we'll see where John Gotti the 3rd goes all right now let's go on to the next fight of the main card Albert Morales versus James Barnes James Barnes versus Albert Morales wait James Barnes looks familiar I've seen this guy before hold on <laughs> let's look at his statisticals over here did no research oh Bellator there you go all right, so his last fight was Gladiator Challenge. He got a submission. He had Dr. Stompage in Bellator. Three fights in a row, Gladiators. Yeah, so he has a Bellator background over here. Okay. He is, what, 10-3-0. Uh, we go across, see his opponent over here, Albert Morales. The Warrior is 7-4-1. Last fight proves that records really mean nothing, you know. He's coming off of three losses, but I think tonight we're going to see fights where we don't even know what to expect. You know, look, look at that last fight. Yeah. No, if, if you were to tell me, right, that uh, Oscar Ivan Cota was going to get finished, I would say no way, man. Looking at his record and his age and, you know, I mean, if you look at physique, I could see. But, uh, you know, nothing impressive about the spider killer. And then the spider killer, you know, does his thing. So this is a, this is a coin flip night. 
Maybe Chuck Liddell will get the third one. All right, Jesse, any any way you look on this fight over here? Yeah, I'm going to go with um, Barnes. Barnes for the win? You going BBC? I'm going yeah. BBC. I'm going to go with the BBC, too. Why not? Yeah. California. All right, Chad, what do you guys... What do you say? Yeah, they're showing Chuck and Tito over here. They're they're bringing them in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> they have their bus. Okay, another question. Does his kids actually look like him? Um, Yeah, the one, the girl. Wow, they both do. Holy fuck. They kind of look like his wife. The boy looks like Casey Neistat. That's his wife? The blonde? Yeah. No, that's his wife. You were looking at his daughter. She's blonde. Jess, that one is his wife. She just popped up now. That one over there you thought no, was his wife. No, they showed her behind him when he first came in. Yeah, not her. No, you, not her. That's his daughter. I'm not talking about his daughter. Okay. Yeah, I know. But when you were pointing over there, you're like, that's his wife. I'm like, what? Let's talk about his wife. But you, yeah, you were pointing at his you daughter. You saw his daughter when I was pointing out his wife. She wasn't even in the picture. She was in the picture when he first walked uh, in. Rewind no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah, rewind it. This is stolen. How do we rewind it? Wow, look at Tito Ortiz pulling up. His fancy ass car over here. Look at that thing. Was that a Bentley? What is that thing? It's a Bentley. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> you just making shit up? What kind of car is that? And that's not, no, that's not, what is that? It's got the bird in the front. Anyone know what that car is that Tito Ortiz pulled up in? All right. Did you start boning? Okay, sure. All right, what is going on in the chat? Hey, we got 100 likes. Let's celebrate. 20 likes. Let's go, 20 motherfuckers. Likes. By the way, they said Chuck caught the bus. <laughs> Someone in the chat said Chuck caught the bus. Tito rolls up in this obnoxious car. And Chuck, yeah, didn't he just walk out of a, like a bus? I don't know. I didn't see where he walked <laughs> Tito Ortiz, he left the keys in the car. He's looking around. He's like, oh, fuck. What's going on? He can't find his keys. He's looking around. Someone stole his keys. Is his wife, did he, is he with another porn star? You know, he was with Jenna Jameson, Jesse. You know who Jenna Jameson is? I did not. She was a porn Enlighten star. Me. She was on the Howard Stern movie. She was in that. Uh -huh. She was a fantastic porn star. And then all of a sudden something happened. And she what got happened? super skinny. And she looked like she looks like she had AIDS. What happened? I don't know. But hold on. Let me pull up a picture of Jenna Jameson. I have to I'm try curious. to do this in a way where we don't, you know, I don't show any nip slips. You're not going to show nip slips. If it's just like a girl in her bikini, that's not anything well, showing. Well, I know. I'm going, going on fighter. Google. I'm going on Google. Right. Yes, yeah, it's Gemma, Jenna Jameson weight loss. Right. No way. Hold on a second. Let's see. I want to make sure there's no boobies over here because she is there's a no boobies. Well, she's a porn star, Jess. That doesn't mean that every picture she has, she's showing boobies. She's a fucking porn star. Was she really that heavy? All right. Hold on a second. She, she was pretty hot when she was younger. She was pretty hot, and then like something happened, and oh, it was her boobs. That's what made her look bigger. Oh fuck! <laughs> look at this. The fuck. Then and now. Damn. That's crazy. That's not her. What the fuck? She's on the right. That's her on the right. Yeah, she got all weird looking. All right. She was pretty when she was younger, though. When she was young, she was very attractive. Anyway. You can't stop the Siberian <laughs> Express. Choo -choo. Choo -choo, motherfuckers. Choo -choo, motherfuckers. Choo -choo, motherfuckers. Carmen Galanti's daughter was best friends with my mom until she was 25. His daughter had... To flee in why after Bonanno family boss Carmen Galandi was was shot dead eating lunch. Bonanno family now extinct after one of future bosses ratted the family out. All right. So thanks for that information, Real Real. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was I was kind of hoping he would talk about that. Why? And my wish came true. Do you have this plugged in the uh, power on the computer? Yes, yeah, it's in. Oh, okay. Oh, you have the second one. Nice. Yes, sir, I do. All right, cool. Good stuff. Thank you, Real Real, for the donation. I don't know what you're talking about, but rest in peace to the people that died in that donation. All right, James Barnes versus Albert Morales. About to go down. I don't know if react. I'm a fan of this like movement here. Stupid. It, it just looks cool to them that it just fucking moves. But like you can't read. Like The tail of the tape is the worst. You have no idea. I don't know. All right, so this is the fight that's coming up. Chuck's looking like his not gay. What's in the Christmas stockings, guys? Is Kevin Costa? Nothing yet, but there will be. Mystic, JBH. Guys, let me know what I should put <clears> in the stockings. <throat> Give me a stocking. I'm a whole stocking stuff for ideas. Weed, CBD. You're not gonna smoke weed. I'm not gonna put weed in there. Mm. Maybe. No, you're not. Hold on, hold on. Khabib Goat says, "What do you guys think of Stylebender Spider fight just got announced?" 
We need to do a fact check. Hold on. We'll go to actually we should go to um, if that Seminoles. is announced. I think that is definitely the fight to make for Stylebender. I did want to see him as a backup for the uh, title fight, but I do like Anderson Silva. That's a, that's a good matchup. I hope the spider. I hope, this, I hope we see vintage spider. I yeah. don't think that's going to be the case. Who do you pick in that one? Adesanya? I know you're on that train. Yes. The Stylebender. The Stylebender. It's kind of hard, man. There it is. Look at that. Looky, looky here. Breaking Anderson Silva versus Israel Adesanya headed to UFC 234 on February 9th in Melbourne. Oh, my story coming to ESPN. We're going to like and we're going to retweet. Yes. Look at that. Thank you, my Khabib friend over there. Good friend of mine. You know what? Art Vandalay. Adesanya is becoming a dick. I've heard that. Like, I've actually heard, like, I've seen tweets and stuff as of late about Adesanya's, like, um, temp like his personality changing a lot like he's getting a little full of himself so i don't know like i've never been a fan of, of people who can't remain humble you know if, if they get too full of themselves like if they're humble at first if they start off full of themselves then it's one thing but if they start off humble and then they try to become full of themselves it's just bizarre you know so i don't know how much longer i can stay on the adesanya train yeah fuck adesanya I, the guy's good he is really good i'll give him that and he seems like a nice guy. Like, he doesn't seem like a complete douche. It's just his thing, his shtick. I like the fact that he has his own character and he's doing his own thing. So, credit to him for that. But listen, Anderson Silva is my guy. You know, he's the guy. He's the spider, for God's sakes. So, I'm, I'm Team Spider in this one. I would like to see Adesanya get a little humbled. But if Adesanya, I mean, this is literally like, this reminds me of young versus old. Like, this is like vintage. Spider Silver, you know, the way Anderson Silva came in and was just fucking showboating and doing his thing out there and horsing around in the cage. Stylebender is like a chip off the old spider, you know? Yeah. So it's it's fascinating. It's going to be a fun one to watch. But, I mean, Anderson Silva is, what, in his 40s now? So, man, a fight that will be fascinating to watch. But what's Anderson Silva are we going to see in that cage after his little suspensione? Get a load of this guy. All right, let's go back to the fight over here. As James Barnes. Yeah, Barnes is about to walk in. Seven career submissions. Marky Wahoo! Stop the Sabian Express! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! Choo-choo, motherfuckers! I hope UFC signs this for 11 Cuban fighter. He's a third-generation run spawned from the Mariel boat lift back when Carter was in office. I hope they throw him in against Zabit at featherweight for his debut. <laughs> Zabist. <laughs> Marky Wahoo with wishes for the 411 Cuban fighter. Thank you, Marky. You are wonderful, wonderful. wonderful Thank wonderful. you, everyone, for the donation. All right. So here we go. 7 4 and 1 versus 10 3 and 0. Oh. Let's see what the chat says before we get this fight going. Van Jimmy says, Asian girls love you long time. Duke Chronic says, you nailed it, Moss. Mr. Durrell, 100, says, I love how Asian women moan. Whoa. Mark Jackson says, Silva is Samuel L. Jackson. Robert Shields says, Anderson Silver, Silva is a cheater. Oh, my God. I just said Silver. Yeah. I just pulled a Moss. You edited the R. The oh, I've been R. around you for too long. Yes, <laughs> sir. Okay. Victor Lee says, Khabib and GSB might be a thing, too. Gary Badger Sandwich Worthington says Jenna's Burger. Isaiah Moore says Asian Squeaks Pew. <laughs> Christopher, pew. Christopher Shelton says gonna miss watching the UFC. Alex Smith says <laughs> Morales Tale of the Tape Pick looks like a video game. Create a fighter picture. I tell you, you know what? It is, it is rest in peace UFC. This promotion's fantastic. It's probably one of the best things I've ever seen. Oscar De La Hoya, we haven't seen him once out there. He's probably snorting coke in pantyhose. Uh, in fishnet stockings off of the fucking, I don't know, the bathroom sinks. I don't know. He's not there. But um, rest in peace. Rest in peace. UFC because James Barnes, 36 years old, is about to fight a 27-year-old Albert Morales. And we're going to react to it. A 135-pound fight and an inch reach advantage for Albert Morales. Now, <clears throat> my voice is starting to go. Yes. Jess, so I might take a nap on the couch. All right. For a couple of fights. I, might I think you got me sick. I got to be honest with you. Jesse. Yes. Genitals to mouth does not make people sick. What? Uh, what? Wonderful. Wonderful. Why? 300. 
and 38 people watching us react to this card over here, Tito Chuck number Trey. Thank you for joining us. And um, listen, if you haven't subscribed, at 15,400, we will let the dragons loose. That's right. Let's let some fucking dragons loose. Don't be a cunt. Subscribe to the MMA Holes because we have three shows a week and we re react to all this bullshit. Right? You Look at this. Stop this and Choo -choo real, real. Choo -choo real, real. Real, real. Mentally retarded Woodley was on Fat Sarah podcast. Claiming that if you say Woodley has bad cardio, you are racist. <laughs> no wonder why the UFC hates him. Woodley is genuinely retarded. Now, I mean, I can see Woodley saying something along those lines. So I kind of believe I, that might be, that paraphrasing might be a little off. But yeah, I could see Woodley doing something like that. He's quite annoying. Um, he does bring up that cardio thing a lot. I do believe in, in fighters that do carry the muscle. Um, having cardio problems, but Woodley does a good job at managing his cardio. It might not be fun to watch in some fights, but he does do a good job. All right, so this fight has just begun, and we're going to react. Thank you for the donations, guys. Really appreciate it as we're reacting to this one here. James Barnes versus Morales. Albert Morales. Would you like a shot? <laughs> you want to start drinking? A little bit. I mean, I have a sore throat, so I'm wondering if maybe that might soothe it a little bit. Yeah, I'm always down to drink, right? What do you think in the chat? Hit me with the ones in the chat. If it's time to take the party to the next level, throw a couple of drinks. I don't want a shot, though. No, I want to drink like a goddamn. No, not a shot. I mean, you yeah, know what sip I mean. like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, mean, let's sip the proper twelve, right, Connor? Yes. All right. All right. All right. Wow. People want the drinks. All right. So, what are you guys? Are you guys drinking or smoking? What are we doing in the chat? Thank you for the likes. Appreciate it. buck fourteen over there. That is very nice of you. Very, very nice. Golden Boy. We're just wasting time until Chuck, Chuck Tito 3. Well, let's be honest, right? We were, we were up for the UFC China. How many people in the chat watched UFC China? What do you think about Francis Ngannou? Spoiler alert. Beating Curtis Blades. But I think the big story. Well, two big stories. Ngannou winning and uh, what's it called? Alistair Overeem. Yes. Being that youngster coming into the UFC. Big stuff over there. Nice takedown by Barnes. Barnes doing a good job with the takedown in the first round. That's our pick. We got a new subscriber over here. Real smart human being. Jake Beckley. Very, very smart. Extremely. Welcome, Jake Beckley. Welcome. Mm. All right. So are we get a drink? Let's want to do that. I'll go get. You go do that, Jesse. Just finished up a big cup of coffee, playing with some kettlebells while watching and listening. All right, Vito. Get playing swole. some kettlebells. Yeah. He's getting swollen sexy over there. Tell me what happened. All right. So there he is still on the ground, and James Barnes is doing the work. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the first round of this Golden Boy second fight. Barnes dropping some lefts on the face of Morales. Morales is yelling. I don't know if he's who he's yelling to. Is he yelling to his corner or, or is he talking shit to Barnes? He's yelling. Yeah, it looks like he's yelling over to his corner. Not sure what he's yelling, but he is screaming from the bottom. Barnes goes into the guard, trying to keep busy. Hmm. Morales trying to get those legs up high or trying to hold. Oh, rubber guard by Morales. Trying to catch the neck, maybe grab an arm. Morales, a little sneaky from the bottom. Putting the right leg over the shoulder, the left shoulder of Barnes. Now Barnes is like, wait, hold on a second. I might want to abort mission. Barnes is holding the left arm down of Morales as the legs are still high. So it looks like Morales is getting a little uh, advice from his corner as he was able to slip those legs up. It's fascinating to see these fighters in the middle of a fight getting the advice from the corners. I like what Barnes is doing, how he's holding the right arm of Morales. Morales can't really complete anything here because his arm is being held. They're kind of at a stalemate. Oh, Barnes pushes the legs over. Looks like Morales decided to not go for what he was going for there. And Barnes inside the guard of Morales now. A little more comfortable looking to pass a leg. Is Barnes on the ground. It stays with a right landing on the face of Morales. Some groundwork here as Herb Dean is watching. Morales gets that leg up high on the other side now. 
over the right shoulder. Barnes is still on top. Jesse has the cups. Overeem wins. Rematch versus Francis. Hmm. You think so, huh? I mean, man. Oh, that's, a, that's a tough one. No, I'm, I'm going to still go with Francis, man. I mean, if you think about it, Blades is no slouch. Look at Bra Yeah, I'm going Francis on Overeem, too. He says Overeem uh, wins this time against Francis. Remember when Francis Robot 12. Oh, let's drink. Well, life on Auto Pop. Robots win. Whoa, look out. It can't be easy to put on a decent fight card with a bunch of, I assume, free agents. If Oscar De La Hoya comes out as a ring girl, he could save the card. <laughs> That's a good point. Look at that life on autopilot as Jesse's about to crack open the proper 12. Life on autopilot, making it rain, and we're going to celebrate with a drink. Thank you. Where is it? There it is. Thank you to life on autopilot and everyone that's joining us tonight as we celebrate with a brand new bottle of proper 12. Choo choo. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Doming Montilio testified against my uncle, who at the time was an associate of the Gambinos. <laughs> Montilio testified in three trials, leading to the conviction of 13 men, one of them being my uncle who served five years. You know what we should Nothing do? Nothing worse than a rat. Thank you, uh, Real, Real Italy. All right, so what we should do is tie together all Real Real's donations and make oh, the full story, like the full chef. story of Real Real's life. The coon hanger. Muslims are all bomb heads too. Okay. Allah, Allah, collision, bomb collision. <laughs> I do not endorse that donation. Thank you. Listen, everybody, as we start the second round oh, over here. This is definitely a new bottle. <laughs> this is a toast, Jesse. This is a toast to the greatest community, the greatest MMA community on YouTube, on the interwebs, as we watch Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy. We kick it off. With a proper 12, thank you for joining us tonight because without you hanging with the boys, hanging with the boys. we would not be here. Thank you very much. Salut, Salut to the MMA holes. Proper 12. Hmm. Allah Akbar. Okay. There it is. The proper 12. It's always worse when you first open the bottle. <clears throat> All right. Woo! All righty, all righty, all righty. Baby making drink. Enjoy that drink. This is Michael Fletcher. What are you guys doing in the chat? Let me know. Are you drinking? Are you smoking? Are you staying sober? Because there's a million ways I to tried. have a good time. I huh? tried to stay sober for about a week. <clears throat> well, I mean, we haven't drank in a while. Takedown mm -hmm. by uh, Barnes. We haven't. When was the last time we really drank? I mean, I turned down your last few offers. No, I might have drank. A couple days ago. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Danny's saying you're looking, you're looking uh, finished. Finessed. Finessed. <laughs> you're looking finished. <laughs> and finessed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're looking finessed. Uh, smoke Ups is Robert Shields. Smoking Primo Canadian Ganja. Shout out to Canada. Getting legalized over there. 20 likes. 120. Happy Saturday. Look at Bruce. I've got fucking 20 likes. All right, let's have some fun, guys. All right, so Barnes is on the ground doing the work, dominating. We're just buying time. It's such a blurry feed. Well, I mean, we can't really complain. It's been, I mean, we have it stretched out on the no, damn big to, TV. Is it the camera? Like, what is it? Uh, it could be a bunch of things. It could be the um, the illegal stream that we're getting it from. <laughs> it could be, but I'm saying. <laughs> I think it's crystal clear. This is fantastic. This is the greatest the greatest link I've ever clicked. Use a fake flag. Uh, eat my post-workout meal. Going to sit down and smoke some dog walker with you motherfuckers is Travis DuBose. So there you go. That's what Travis is doing. Chuck has Tito's number. I tell you what. 
if Chuck can do it again, that would be so fucking great. It really would be fun to watch. I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, I'll be celebrating. I will be celebrating. Is anyone here? What are you? Team Chuck or Team Tito? Let me know in the chat. Team Chuck or Team Tito? Jesse, who are you rooting for? We know who you're picking, but who are you rooting for? I'd like to see Chuck win just yeah. for like that. But you wouldn't want to see Tito that get back? <gasps> factor. Well, it's not. I mean, okay, so uh, he is the underdog, right? Yeah. But he did win twice and he knocked him out both times, right? He finished him both times. So, I mean, uh, is it really a shock? I, I don't know. Maybe because I the feel age? because of the age. It's like, uh, like, what are you doing? Or maybe Tito is just shook. You really I mean, think yeah, so? maybe Tito's just like, he's coming across as very confident, but maybe inside his penis is going inside and he's like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get finished again. You know? Maybe. So um, maybe it's not a huge shock. I don't know. Would you be shocked if Chuck pulls off the win? Let us know in the chat as Barnes is trying to get a finish here, but it is not easy because Morales is not making it easy in the second round. Morales does have a lot of damage on his face, a grinder by Barnes inside the guard and dropping lefts. All right, I'll see what the chat says over here. I'll keep you posted on what goes on in the fight. Happy oh, McDonald's super says good. Chat. The coon hangers loose. I hate women, children, and minorities. Also, spicks. <laughs> what the fuck? What is it with this guy? <laughs> so, a new donator, yeah. who happens to be the same donator, but a newer version of the same donator, is now the coon hanger, Jesse. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that's um, acceptable, right? But, I mean, listen, it's money, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Where, where else? What other... You don't see the coon hanger on uh, Luke Thomas' show. Could you imagine? Like, now, uh, Real Real reached out to Robin Black. Now, Robin Black is following us on, on Twitter. So, shout out to Real Real for doing that. We made no attempt. We're, we're like, the most anti-social uh, show that you could like we don't I don't like to beg people to come on that's just not how I am you want to come on come on I'm not gonna fucking be like please come on my show I don't care we get fantastic ratings without you that's how I look at it but it is interesting when we do have some guests on right and Robin Black is one of them now could you imagine let's fast forward and Robin did say he would come on the show we slide into his DMs we say Robin let's pick a date you come on could you imagine in the middle of the interview Coon Hanger decides to donate how do you think Robin's gonna take that Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind Coon Hanger. <laughs> Don't mind him. Don't mind Coon Hanger. You know? <laughs> I think, um... Oh, God. I feel I feel that he's seen the show before. He knows how it is. Uh, he definitely has seen the show. There's no doubt. Choo -choo Everyone's seen the show. Choo -choo motherfuckers. Choo -choo motherfuckers. The strip club Wiggles off of Queens Boulevard was run by Vinnie Palermo. He was New Jersey Cosa Nostra Capo of the De Cavalcanti family, a.k.a. the Real Sopranos. It was an honor to get my first lap dance at Wiggles. Wiggles. Vinny Ocean never ratted. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's The story We're continues. We're so much about Real Real tonight. Yeah, the story continues. Tonight, we get the backstory. It's like um, a prequel to Real Real's life. Thank you, Real Real. I agree, Kevin there. Costa. I think, I think he is a bit annoying, but he has a great mind for the sport. When it comes to Robin Black, and Kevin Coase is from Canada. Look at that. A lot of Canada Canadians like uh, Robin Black. Like, I, it rubs me the wrong way about him. I don't know what you think rubs you the wrong way about me. I don't understand. I, I don't know. Like I said before, I think at what he does, he's unique. So I have, I always have respect for people in the game, right? I have mm -hmm. respect if you're trying to think outside of the box. So credit to Robin Black for that. I'll always give him the respect for that. And if he comes on, I'll give him the respect for that. But it's just not my cup of tea, and we're probably not his cup of tea. In fact, I guarantee we're not his cup of tea. We're not a lot of people's cups of tea, but who gives a fuck? Ooh, nice takedown over got there. Hurt. Barnes, yes, yeah, slams down Morales. Did and here we him? go again, back on the ground. I think Barnes is going to be able to finish it here. Yep, side control. Barnes is dropping <sighs> elbows to the right side of the head of Morales. Barnes is looking for this win. I wonder, there's got to be bonuses, right? Do you think there's some fight bonuses on this card? I'm assuming there are. Who knows? I'm curious. Wow. Two joints. Does he have the arm? And hates him. Hates Robin Black. Yeah, he's he, got his arm. But I don't know what he's doing with this. Like, he's, he's very high. 
I don't know where he's trying to pull the arm. Like, I don't think he's in a position to do much right now. He's got the legs around. What is it? Oh, here we go. He has the nutsack in the, in the left ear of Morales. There is, yeah, there was nothing he could do there. Like, I don't, I don't know what he was trying to do. Morales is huffing and puffing from the bottom as Barnes spins around, and now Morales pulls him back into the guard. He is bleeding. Barnes is dominating, for sure, in the third round. I think Morales' nose is cut open. Ah, <sighs> Morales sucks balls. Oh, there you go. Oh, yep. Barnes going for the neck now and nope. has the back. Morales slips out. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's wow. see. The Leafs are about to shut out the Philly Flyers. All right, Duke. I hope they do that. The Flyers beat the shit out of my Rangers the other God, day. God, those hammer fists right onto his schnoz. Yeah, Morales is... He's not looking very good right now. He's, he's mounted. He's, oh, he's completely mounted. Super oh, here's chat. my girl. Jesse, I apologize, but she's here. I got your mons, JBH. Thanks for that poultry leg sexy most winking face. You're Jesse, welcome. There's going to be a fight. There is going to be a fight. And it's not inside this cage, but it's going to be between you and Big Ebony Honey Buns. Yeah? Yeah. She's, she said, I mean, she really does have, have my her. heart. <gasps> All right, let's take that poultry leg and let's, let's go somewhere. Romantic, please. All right, two minutes and 15 seconds left of this one-sided fight. James Barnes is oh, running away with this fight over Morales. Chat. We got real real with the super chat. Robin Black has nine pro MMA fights. He does. He has balls. He also has a glam rock band that he used to play in. Um, <laughs> he says it for the fact. What? <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out to that glam rock. I will bring up the glam rock thing. I'll be yeah. like, but tell me about this glam. I'm gonna. Ask, I am gonna ask him if he's gay though. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Now I know he's married. No, but I'm gonna. I have to ask him. The the one question I need. I think needs to be asked. And Robin, if you were watching, don't take any offense to this, but I do have to ask. And and I know throughout the interview, I'm like, I gotta ask this question. I know I'm gonna have to ask this. Are you gay? Like I'm gonna I don't be think like, that's wrong to ask. It's a, it's you come a across a little feminine. I do legitimately feel he might be gay. Yes. Then ask him. I do. And, and it's nothing wrong with that. We have like the we have. If you were doing it just to be an asshole, here now. what you've done before, I'd be like, Robin, oh, Robin Black, are you a? That was quick. He's gonna he's gonna put him in an armbar. Yeah, Barnes with a minute left is looking for the arm. Can he get it, Jess? What do you say? What do you say? He's trying know. to tug away. At I don't it. know. He's got a good grip, Morales. He's got a good grip. Oh no no no! no. Oh no! Here it comes, Morales' arm. Oh, it's strong. oh, oh no. no! The fight. No way! That is was over. Bent. Morales is complaining. He's like, I didn't fucking tap. But that thing was hyperextended, and that Ooh. thing was going to snap. Whew. <laughs> what a good arm bar. All right, Ooh. Barnes. Barnes for the win. <laughs> that shit was nasty. Barnes for the win. Dark is two for two, Jesse. The dark skin fellas. Two for two. What do you think about that? Ah, Fuck the light skin. BBC for the win. That's right. BBC. James Barnes gets the win. 11-3-0. Armbar in the third round. A complete denomination. <laughs> Domination. No, All Gage. Right. And I don't think he actually tapped, but that, <laughs> he was going to break his arm. That's the next fight over here. Jesse, what do you think about that finish? Sean, Le Sean Leary says I was holding my arm the same way. I was doing that. When you, <laughs> look, at some, when you look at something, don't you feel like you feel it? It, like, was a, it was a sympathy pain. It was like, ah, fuck. Did that ever happen to me kind of thing? I do it all the time. Let's watch this again. Nice job over here. Barnes sets it up nice and easy. Throws the legs over. Fights for the right arm of Morales. Pulling back. Let's watch this thing. Morales is bucking around. Ooh. He ah. didn't tap. It, yes, he did. Oh, yeah, it. he did. He did once. Okay. Yeah. Morales, he did. He did tap one time. Yeah. That no, was a good stop. For God's sake. Even his coach is like, ah. No, he, he, he tapped. His left arm. Would, and that's all they needed to see. That was a tough kid. Tough kid. But you don't win by just being tough, right? You don't win by being tough. I win by being tough. So what do you think? We're two yes. we're two fights down, Jesse. What do you think so far? I think the fights are all right. Not a fan of the of the presentation. I think it could be done a little better. But like you said, it could be because we just stole the stream. 
What? We didn't know we bought it. What are you talking about? Could be because we just bought the stream. No, we, we paid for this. Could be that. But, um, no, I, I, it's, the fights are all right. I, I want to see how Frank Mir is doing with the Listen, it's the first time for mm-hmm. Golden Boy. They have some improvement to do, but there's always room for improvement, right? All right, so here's Frank Mir. He's doing the interviews. He's doing the post-fights. He goes, what was going through your mind? And Barnes goes, I love orange juice. All right, let's turn this off. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right, Jesse, here's the deal. Yeah. 356 people watching right now as we're reacting to a fight card, Golden Boy, their first ever mixed martial arts event, and Chuck versus Tito, number three, is the main event of the evening. We are two fights down, and both of them were finishes on the main card. First one was Jay Silva getting the win. Mm-hmm. A surprising finish to me. We go to the next fight over here. Let's refresh this shit. It looks cooler when the graphics up. Uh, the next fight over here, Morales loses to Barnes by armbar in the third round. So now, how many fights, Jesse? Look at this. Two down and four to go. Look at that quick math over there. <laughs> Huge. That's why people watch for the quick math. All right. Wallel Watson versus Ricky Palacios. Palacios, I think, was another Bellator guy, wasn't he? Well, he looks fucking familiar. Hold on. Let's go to Ricky Palacios. These names, they sound familiar, familiar, mm-hmm. but I just I just can't put them. Do you hear that New York accent coming out? No, I, I don't know what you're talking you should, about. I feel, like, I feel like you should be around your family more. It's kind of yeah. hot, the New York accent, and you mask it too much. You know, um, fun fact about Jesse is she's a darling when she's drunk, right? And she also gets horny when she's drunk. So I'm not drunk. I, I no, no, I'm just saying you drink. get you get horny when you get drunk. I'm just I'm warning. It's a warning to them. No, trust me. You'll understand what I mean after a couple more sips. We start playing footsies. I took there. cold medicine earlier. It's a cold. Can you drink it with cold medicine? I have no idea. <laughs> well, you fall asleep probably. No, well, it's daytime cold medicine. You're just putting everything in your body. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Day cool. UFC website sucks as two joints. Yeah, it's not the best. We're on Tapology, and um, there's no UFC tonight. So. Holy shit, Colby Covington clocks with the donation. Clocks. Have a great movie for you, Chris, to show Jesse. 1990 State of Grace is crime movie based. Off your brothers, the Irish mob, the Westies, probably one of the greatest cast ever. Hmm. Gary Oldman is F. King Sick, based of Mickey Featherstone. Worth the watch. You know what? And thank you, Clocks. State I never of seen Grace. it. State of Grace. Yeah, actually write that down. I'd watch 1990 that. 1990 State of Grace. Gary Oldman was in um, True Romance that we just watched recently. Thank you, Clocks, for the donation. And uh, Gary Oldman's the shit, man. The guy really rarely is in a bad movie. Very good actor, so I'd check it out. Okay, I wrote it down, Clocks. If it sucks, Clocks, we're coming after you. I don't know what we're going to do. We might hug you. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have over here. Jesse, I think we're two for two at our fights, right? We got to go dark skin the rest of the way, right? That's what I think. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the brothers are keeping it down for us. They're holding They're holding down the fort. I say we go for it, you know? Let's just do it. Let's just go Let's go dark the whole way, Jesse. I'm, I'm down. Um, if you're down, I'm down. No, I'm going to go Palacios on All this right. one. So, Palacios. Palacios. Oh, and man, he's a heavy favorite over here. Of course. Look Minus at his 500. Record. Let's look over here. Let's look at the other direction. I mean, yeah, you would think. I hate going by. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Wait, he lost to a rear naked choke. That's all right. He had a bare knife. He won by a choke. Body shots. Okay, uh, yeah. I can't. I don't know. Brave. Uh, smash. Oh, he fought for Smash Global. Look at that, Jess. Oh, look at that. Smash Global. We had the CEO of Our Smash BFFs. Global. Yeah, he was on. Yeah. Smash Global. That's that fancy, ritzy organization over it's there. the black tie event. That's right. Yeah, you know what? I might have to be with you on this one. Actually, no, wait. We lost the first one. What am I talking about, Jesse? I don't know. What are you talking about? We should have won BBC in the first one. We lost this one. We picked the Mexican. We suck. No, we no, we didn't. Yeah, we picked this guy. Oh, yeah, we picked Dakota. Yeah, we, nah, it's wrong. That's fake news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're, <laughs> we're 500. <laughs> we're trying to break it up right here. Yeah. All right, I'm, yeah. Well, what the fuck? I forgot about this one over here. Let's go to this fight. I think it's kicking in. I think this, the, the whiskey. It's very strong, right? 
No, it's just, it's I, I just, I feel, uh, Does anybody know if, if alcohol is, is on a, a radiator for a very long amount of time? No, what are you talking about? And it was like overheated. No, is it wasn't it, overheated. It was way over. Did you feel a bottle? It was so hot. Yeah, it was, it was on a radiator and it was on for a little bit. For, for like a week and a half. Yeah, it's fine. It was being heated for a week and a half and we took it off. Does that affect yeah, the potency does. of whiskey? I'd be more worried about the cold medicine in your system and the scotch. I'd be more worried it's about that. It's not scotch, it's whiskey. I mean whiskey, I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh, he's proposing. Oh, fuck. This guy just got armbarred and he's proposing to his fucking girlfriend. Oh, my God. <laughs> he has his opponent's juices all over him and he's got this dreaded broad kissing him. Very romantic moment. He's like, my arm just got pulled off my body. Will you marry me? And he tries to get the fucking ring up and his arm's just flopping. He's like this. <laughs> he lifts up the arm. <laughs> the ring is in his arm. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck All Johnny right. Walker blue Kevin Costa nice. that's good stuff right there Johnny Walker double black he got me into that no Johnny Walker blue is the good stuff I've had that multiple times but your choice is Johnny no Walker. No, no 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 hold on Johnny Wa- listen Kevin Costa okay, I'm wrong. the uh, the uh, address is down below you could just send us a bottle of uh, Johnny Walker blue I'll drink that so Fantastic. you prefer Johnny oh, Walker Blue over Johnny Walker? Yeah, it's, it's a nice, big, expensive bottle mm. of Johnny Walker. It's super smooth. Yeah, you'll like it. You'll drink it like, oh, that's why it's worth that much money. Yeah, it's good stuff. You Very can't nice. stop the Siberian Express. The Siberian Choo Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Real, real. The Westies were Irish rats. Gotti Senior should have had Bulger whacked. Everyone follow me on Twitter at RealRay0943886. I troll MMA fighters. Fake news hookers and talk MMA holes. Press 1 in the chat if, if JBH has a higher IQ than most. <laughs> well, I would put 1 there for God's sakes. Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you, Real Real. Appreciate it. Go follow him on Twitter where he talks about everyone with low IQ. Well, Lil Watson. Ricky Palacios. All right. Come on, let's get to Chuck and Tito. Like, what are we I waiting know. for you? I give him credit. I are you done already? Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, of course. I mean, what is this? This is nuts. I give him credit. I give Oscar De La Hoya credit. I give the whole Golden Boy Promotions credit. It, it's you have to remember, first first time putting it up like this. Like, I can't say it's horrible. It was a good effort, but um, it's just not what it could have been. So, I think it sucks, in my opinion. I think so far, it's a fail. I think it's a complete epic fail. It is the first event. I just feel there should have been a little bit more, maybe with the production, or I, I, I don't know. Or just the fight card alone. The weigh-ins is where I lost it. You know, that's where I lost it. When watching the weigh-ins and looking like Oscar De La Hoya didn't give two fucks about what was going on. They didn't know that he didn't know the fighters' names. Yeah. Uh, if fighters were missing... It was really dysfunctional and ridiculous, and I don't know. I'm, I'm not on board right yet. This is this is a thumbs down so far, but Chuck and Tito might be fun. I mean, Chuck and Tito is a Bellator fight, really, at this stage of the game. It's a, it's a fucking Bellator fight. We have one Bellator fight on a card, on a regional card. That's what it's like. So, it's a fail. I mean, you watch CES, it's way better than this. Yeah. CS is like light years better than this. But like you said, they have access. They do have access TV. It's a better production. But I, I think the way they sell the fighters. Now, we're not listening to the play-by-play. We have it on mute. So that's unfair. But I'm just we're just judging it by visuals yeah. right here. I don't know. What do you guys say in the chat? Uh, Let me know in the chat what you guys super think. Super chat. Super chat. They should have some coons hanging in the stands. No, they shouldn't. That's we're raccoons. Jesse, what do you think if they add a nooses with coons hanging from the stand? You know what's funny when you said raccoons? It reminded me of Forrest Gump. Oh God. (laughs) Raccoons. The coons. All right. Um, it's ridiculous. Thank you, coon hanger. But please stop it. That would not help this in any way. No. All right, Jess. What do they say? (laughs) 
<laughs> what are they saying in the chat? Um, Triscuit H says Chuck is way too slow. Tito will finish him in the first guaranteed. Geeky Spartan says not bad, not great. Zach Goodman says LOL Killa is a savage. Tim F, this is hard listening to Rashad. He's awful at commentating. Hmm. Brian Ridges says do it hang raccoons there. CC writer Rose Namajunas could beat Tito. You gotta block this idiot. Moss says butterfly massacre. Systematic says raccoons get up on the porch. Mama just sweep them off with a broom. <laughs> JD Walker says, I missed it. Oh, what's vacation mean? Isaiah Moore, Wrinkle Ranch KO. Uchiha77? Oh, I missed it. Steve Johnson says, it means to vacate, literally. Michael Coker says, Golden Boy taking over, winner gets Shamrock. Trump Savage <laughs> retracted his message. Greg oh, Mills says, Super Chat. Super, super chat. chat. Real, real. Will you inform Black of the Super Chat format? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, that you're real, real. We, you would, listen, it's not set in stone. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see. We have to talk about it. We don't I, beg people to come on the show. I, we have to talk about it, but we might reach out to him. We might. He did follow us, so we might reach out. But, uh, yeah, any guest that comes on, we give them the run-through before we go live, basically saying, listen, this is how this works. We are uh, cr- uh, fan-funded, right? So the people that donate or the people that keep this show going and flowing within the MMA community, everyone pretty much knows that that's how we run our shit over here. We don't have bigger corporations, you know, paying us money. We do have sponsors and shout out to Tiger Life Energy and Duplex Entertainment, but it is not our only means of income over here. So when a guest comes on, we're like, listen, this is how it runs. You know, it's sarcastic. It's wild. We don't we have no control of what they say. It can get racist. It could get stupid. It, it, it's. It's just idiotic. It's a flying circus over here. So if you don't like it, then that's your problem. We are warned. So we will give them the warning. Honestly, I think he'd be one of those guys, though, that's just like, ah, it's okay. I get it. It's thinking outside of the box. You know what would have helped this promotion? If they had, like, (laughs) all of these little lights and stuff around. Yeah. But if they had, like, one massive spot, like, just going straight down on the cage, right? So, like, when they're doing the announcement, kind of like how the UFC does it. When they're doing the announcing and stuff, you got all these other lights going around the auditorium and whatever. But if they had like one white light, like a bright light going down on the cage to sort of like amplify the fighters and what's going on there, like this is what's going on, I think it would have added to the promotion so much more. But they failed to do that. And I think that's why it looks a little Hold on. So you're saying if, a, if there's a spotlight in the middle of the cage, what? what? No, like not like a spotlight. Like if they just put like a brighter light that was, that was simply amplified for the cage. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, chat. when you can see when oh, here's a ref cam. I'm getting make... hard thinking of black super chats. <laughs> real real's getting he's getting uh, aroused by the black super chats. Okay, so the ref is showing. Yeah, no, you could notice right now when the fights start, the light you're talking about is there. Yeah, it's just I, maybe it's just me. Like I, I don't know when see, there it is. Yeah, but when they're announcing stuff, like it just doesn't look good to have all that dark like it just doesn't look good like the presentation just doesn't to me it's in my opinion but you know maybe i'm wrong but it just doesn't look good um yeah well it, it the wobbly cameras the um the angles are bizarre the uncomfortable graphics that are flying at weird angles across the str- screen um yeah they they got to tweak a lot of things but these are i mean it is the first time yeah so, like this angle right here, it's a high angle in the cage. It makes the cage look tremendous. And you do get to see a lot of the cage. But, yeah, things need to be uh, tweaked up. Ah, super chat. They should have a swastika in the center cage <laughs> oncoming fist. <laughs> you know, it used to be uh, V. V used to, used to be that guy. To send in those donations. Yeah. It used to be V. It probably is V. But maybe it is V. It could be. And now it's the coon hanger. So thank you for that. I don't know if, if a swastika would look good on TV. Oh, Ooh. nice combination coming in. <sighs> Holy shit. Palarios. What's his name? This guy's name Palacios. over here? Palacios. Palacios. Yeah, Ricky Palacios with a beautiful combination. Bouncing around. Looking nice and fresh. As his opponent over here, Will- Willell Watson. Got stunned. I think he shook it off over here. But Palacios is fresh, bouncing around, keeping Watson off of his feet. We got Watson with the red, Palacios with the blue. Super chat. I'm hard thinking about real, real getting hard. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's a domino effect. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Brian Young is getting hard as well. Bring back the Hitler mustache. You think that would go well, Jesse, on the show? What do you think? Haven't we seen this guy before? Who, Palacios? Yeah. Yeah, I said it before. He looks familiar, but I couldn't pinpoint where we've seen him. He looks like someone from the Contender Series when Nick Newell was fighting. Yeah, it's not him. That's Yeah, he, that's not what he's been. We, we went through his stats. I couldn't find where we've seen him from. I'll, I'll go through it again. Ricky Palacios. Okay. He is. Let's mm-hmm. see. <laughs> he mm-hmm. has a seven fight win streak. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're right. Good call. The contender series. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That means. Oh, hold on a second. Let's change that. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. And. Oh, hold on a second. Oh no. Our stream is dead. Oh no. Our stream is dead. All right, click the box. Our paid pay. Oh, it's back. Okay. We lost our pay per view stream. So we have to do it. Sorry, John Savage. I do have a high MMA IQ. Eighties fist grab. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. That was close. We almost didn't get through that. <laughs> Shit. Good memory over there. Thank you. Yeah. I could. I totally missed it. His you know last why? fight was a contender series. I remember that someone in the chat. So why didn't you bring that up when I was like, man, we've seen this guy from somewhere. I didn't think about it. I, um, I just now recognized him. Yeah. But the reason I recognized him was because I remember you making the shoulder jokes and then mm-hmm. someone got so upset at you in the comments for making the shoulder jokes. Remember? Was it this guy, Palacios? Yeah, I think it was no, this guy. No, it wasn't him. Oh, oh, one, two comes in. Palacios gets the finish. Nice. Wow. Knocks this guy the fuck out. Nice. Well, Lel Watson, Palacios has crazy eyes as he's looking around like, I just fucked this dude up. Now, that one oh, was a mismatch. Shoot. Bird Holy chat. shit. And here's the coon hanger. Press one in the chat to bring back slavery. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Thank you, coon hanger. Jesus Christ. All right. 20 likes as Ricky Palacios coming from the Contender Series getting the win. Let's go. Whoa. I've got fucking 20 likes. All right, so how about this guy? He comes in from the Contender Series, a heavy favorite in this fight. Uh, he had a decision win, so he didn't get a UFC contract. Yeah. He goes to fight for Oscar De La Hoya and gets the win in dramatic fashion. Man, the right comes in and then come, follows it up with the left. Crack. Finito. All right, so that was a good one. That was a nice finish. That was a nice finish. That could have been the finish of the night. I mean, the armbar was pretty slick, but the dude was getting a beating the whole time. Ricky Palacios. Wait a minute. Oh, that kick at yeah, the end. Yeah, I was going to say. Hold on a second. Was his knee down? I don't know. Kick? I mean, he was pretty much done, but a legal kick could have screwed everything up. The right, the left. God damn. Oh. Was it? Right? That, that kick was is very close. Was that knee down? Uh, well, they're not even talking about it. Well, we're not, we don't have the sound on. Hmm. Dana White is laughing his ass off watching this card says Lestrange yeah I mean listen I don't think Dana White is very worried about this golden boy shit this is <sighs> alright let me ask you a serious question in the chat because we're a very serious show over here here's the serious question does anyone think that golden boy will ever be a rival promotion of the UFC oh, yes or no let me know in the chat. Super chat. I got a truck of dead Muslims to piss on. Anyone? What do you think about the girls? That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, you just totally missed that super chat. It's probably a good idea that you missed that. Yeah, what, what about the girls? The ring girls? Yeah. Their outfits? I think it's fantastic. I think they're kind of better than Well, they're, the they're, they're more boxing-like uh, outfits, right? That's what they look like to me. The ring girls well, have like... golden, get it? Yeah, yeah, golden, golden girls. Golden boy. Thank you for being a friend. All right, let me know in the chat. 
The votes are coming in. Do you think that the De La Hoya promotion will in any way be something competitive to the UFC? Jess, what's going on in that chat room? Peter Garcia says, nope, UFC is about to be on ESPN. Good luck, Oscar. Steve Johnson says, Anna Asia, that is a dope mug. Brian Rogers says, to throw him in the ocean. That's okay. Goggle Product says, Dana White is in a blow bang right now where he's on only napkin something. I missed it. Danny Barrera says, I would love to see Jesse in a ring girl outfit. Me too. Drunk Savage says, Oscar picked out their outfits from his closet. <laughs> <laughs> Darion Senkow says, you're acting like a girl, JBH. Oh, sorry. I'll start Stop acting act like a girl, JBH. Jesus Christ, I'll start acting like a man. Sorry. Stop it, Jesse. I, I had a moment. Stop acting like a girl. Unlike me. All right. Uh, how many people... Now, here's a serious question. How many people in the chat are watching this with their significant other? How many people in the chat are watching this with a friend, a family member, or just watching it with, by themselves? Let me know right now in the chat. Who are you watching this with? Or, I have a fun game to play, okay? There's 400 people watching right now. We're in between fights. And if you have other people in your house that you want to annoy... And, and make them be like, what the fuck are you watching right now? We're going to do something really stupid. Okay. okay. Really, really dumb. I don't know what yet we're going to be doing. But get your phone ready or your computer ready. Tell your mom, your friend, your sister, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever the fuck is going on in your house. And be like, oh my God, you ever see the show? It's so fucking cool. All right. Get ready. Get ready right now. What? And we're going to do something really stupid. What right? are you doing? So, so now if they have their phone and they're watching us or if they're watching us on a computer, right? And say, I'm watching this in another room and you're making dinner or some shit like that. Okay. I go in a room and be like, wow, did you ever see anything like this? They're going to show the phone and we're going to be doing, we're going to be going to this. <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to be doing. All right. That's what we have to do. All right. So everyone I, get ready. I don't know if I can reenact that. No, well, here, we're going to do something really stupid. Okay. As we're buying time. This is the next fight. Get ready. I want you to get that person in your house. How many people are with someone? Uh, Vanship man. Is with gay agent, so get ready to show a gay agent. I'm watching it with my dog. So show your dog, all right? Uh, what is a coon? Uh, that's, uh, that's something else. Just with the holes, no one else is watching this shit. Okay, no golden boy, won't challenge. All right, here we go. You ready? Michael, well, everyone's alone? There's no one in there? Is there anyone in there with other people in their home? The bit won't even... Uh, shout out my girl, uh, Summer. Shout out. All right, here we go. You ready? Everyone get ready. If you're with someone right now, we're going to do something completely ridiculous, okay? There are... How many fights left? One... There's three fights left. In the card. Three fights, and the main event is Tito versus Chuck Three. Everyone, are you ready? Let's go. What are we doing? I was going well until you did that. Why did you have to do that? <laughs> Why did you have to do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, that would be great. Do you throw it at the trophy? <laughs> imagine, imagine you just showed someone that. Like you're just watching this and you're just like, yo, let me just show my mom this. Show my girlfriend this. Oh my God. They'd be like, That's what you're doing? That's what you're doing your time right now? You're watching that? <laughs> We should make that a segment. All right, all right. <laughs> God, I didn't tell my mom. He just did throw it in a trophy. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. What's the next fight on the card? <laughs> we'll call that the retard segment. I don't know. We'll just. Oh, we'll just I'm gonna rewatch that. Right. Super chat. Dead Nick, you're hanging from my tree. Do better. All right, man. Shit. It's not funny mm. anymore. All right, cool. Joke's over. We gotta need another bit. I appreciate it the donation. Funny at first. Now it's not okay. Funny. What are we doing? Stop it. Second right. site says a retard alert segment. <laughs> <laughs> SST Cup says Kung Hanger is a little geek and was made to play night sleepy uncle with grandpa. All right. Don't ever, ever do that shit again, says Jake Beckley. Crazy Eyes says George Costanza. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Carafa says, Thank you for that. My girl freaked out. <laughs> 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 Drunk Savage says Chris is making money off racism. Not you know what cool we should in do? 2018. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. All right. So what we should do is have a donation, right? The retard donation. So anytime that happens, when the retard donation comes in, we have to do that bit. So you everyone knows. You a, a No, but a everyone knows that, oh shit, the racism <laughs> donation came in. So we have to, no matter what we're doing, if it's an interview, if it's anything, we can go, <laughs> 
<laughs> like we have to do something stupid like that anytime that donation said. Hit me okay. with the ones in the chat if you want that. Could you imagine if we get John Jones back on the show? <laughs> right? I'm like, yes, John Jones will get back on the show. I'm like, John, listen, I'm sorry about you walking off that one time, but you know, things are different this time. Ah, you know, whatever the donation sound is, and like, uh, and but the potato potato. Like like potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there's so many ones <laughs> oh god that's a great idea yeah they yeah. like it okay retard donation is a golden idea all right we have to we'll, we'll brainstorm on that one okay <laughs> look at there's chocolate owl stretching his hamstrings uh, i love this all right you recognize this guy over here a uh, gleason tebow is on a four fight tebow. losing streak he leaves the UFC, a Braziliano versus a Efrain Ecuadoro, who looks familiar as well. This guy was, I think this guy's from Bellator. Hold on. I know we've seen this guy as well. Escudero. I, I know he sounds familiar. Let's let's look through. I could be wrong. Uh, PFL. Oh, that's where we've seen him from. PFL. All right. So that is where we've seen him from. Comes from the PFL going over to Golden Boy. So, Jesse, okay. Jesse. Another fight. There are three fights left on this magical card. Yes. Chuck versus Tito. Who do you have in this one? Do you have the veteran 32, 14, and 0? I'm going to have to go with Gleason. Whoa, Jackie Gleason. I'm going to go with the underdog here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. T-Bot was tough, man. He's really, really tough. Guy's a legendary fighter. Not really, but he's been his in the UFC for a minute. four losses says it all. Now, let's see how he lost in his last four, because I don't remember. A unanimous decision, punches, failed drug test. <laughs> that pesky failed drug test loss. And the rear naked choke. Now he can do drugs again, so that he's going to be dangerous. You know? Well, I have a feeling Golden Boy's probably going to tighten up on that a little bit. At nah. some point. Yeah, I think they will. I'm actually torn on this one. Oh, he's Mexican? All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Mexican. I'm going at Frayne. Escudero. I want to pick Tebow because I know him. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Let's see in the chat who are you picking in this fight over here as Escudero is walking into the cage. Tebow or Escudero? Tebow. But if a massacre says Tebow hits like a sledgehammer, Roberto Hernandez says, look into the paydays. Schlagboy says, Pinky Escudero. Kevin Costa says, I'm going to send you guys a bottle of blue for Christmas. Whoa. You're generous and my homies. Peace. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Kevin Costa. That's good shit. Oh, boy. Walk with the swagger says, Efrain, buy some Mexican shit. Isaiah Moore says, the ugly one. Khabib Ghost says, Tebow had best fight ever against Goat. You Chiha seventy seven says Tebow is juice head. Connor would KO him stiff. Ryan Wardy says I pick Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow's fighting. Oh my god. Is Katie it? Walker says Mexican laws of average. Lestrange says Gleason is goat. He got robbed in the Khabib fight. Troy G says Tito and Chuck is making their biggest MMA check tonight. Ricardo Aguilar says Ligma. Josh Tyree says Mexican. Michael Anzalone says Where is the Fonz? Hey. All right, so our stream has Can buffered. Can you do a Fonzie impersonation? Well, uh, I, was, no, I, was, I was getting a little nervous because the stream was buffering a little bit. Oh. And it's buffering again. You want me to refresh it? We have to do it? the old refresher Rooney. All right. Yeah, we'll do the refresher Rooney before the fight gets started. Do a refresher Rooney. Shout out to the Discord. Discord is wonderful, wonderful. Hope you guys have a fantastical stream. Thank you, Discord and patrons. To become a member of our Discord. There's a link in the description below. Patreon.com. The That's MMA right. Holes. Sign up. For just $1 a month, you can be a part of our magic secret chat on the Discord and also support this swell show that you are currently enjoying. Well, $2 to get into the Discord. I mean $2. Yeah. But if you can't afford $2 a month to see free pay-per-views, and I mean, I don't, I mean, to be in our Discord, well, then you can lick my balls. Right. My balls. Uh, I just see a. I'm gonna take a shot every time the play-by-play -play team says lost a step. Vintage hasn't lost a step. He is back during Golden Boy's MMA card. Says ECV 88 JM. That was on Instagram. They DM'd us a while ago. So that's a shot. Who the game. fuck is that guy? That I think that's Kanado. Kanado, whatever the hell his name is. I think. All right. Thank you for uh, for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. 400 people hanging with the boys. Gleason hey, to the boys. 
And we're going to react to the last three fights on this card. Tebow versus Escudero is the next one. Only two more after that. And Chuck Tito 3 is the main event of the evening. Make sure you subscribe to the MMA Holes 15,400. We let the, the dragons loose. We need to let those dragons loose. Bad. Wait. So right now. <laughs> right now is the time to do it. If that doesn't make you do it, I don't know what will. So subscribe to the MMA Holes. We have four, well, three shows a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sometimes four, sometimes five. And we react to all these goddamn fights. All right. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five away, and we have dragons. I cannot wait. Tebow, like, what happened to that guy? Well, now he he's shaved all of, his, all of his hair oh, off. Oh, super chat. Roided up again. Ready to go. Super chat. Ain't on. Chris is down with Mexicans. I am it's down true. with Mexicans for sure. It's true. I am. I am down. Chris, thank you for being down with Mexicans. I like Mexicans. Even before you. I was a fan of the Mexicans. I like the food, the culture. I like Mexico. Well, here's the thing. Mexico is like one of the best places to vacation. But I disagree. En ended up in the hospital because of goddamn damn Montezuma's revenge. Does not surprise me. I was literally in the hospital from that shit. I was in Coco Bongo <laughs> puking my brains out from your goddamn water. But I still love you guys. It's a beautiful place. And Mexicans go down on him. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Okay. <sighs> uh, we did two streams today. We're going strong. Nothing stops us. The grind We're never stops. Like perfect strangers. Nothing's going to stop me now. <laughs> Balky Bartokamus. Bartokamus. What was his sheep's name? Let me know in the chat. What was Balky Bartokamus' sheep's name? Bartoka sheep. I'm going to give Jesse, I'm going to tell Jesse the answer. But right now, let me know. In the chat, what was Balky Bartokamus' sheep's name? All right. If you heard that, you cheated. I know it. You know it? And Jesse knows. Let's see who gets it. The first one who gets it wins absolutely nothing. All right, here we go. The fight has begun. Wow, they don't know the name of Balky Bartokamus from per Perfect Strangers' sheep's name. All right, Tebow versus Escudero. I pick Escudero, and Jesse's with Roydhead Tebow. And let's see how this one goes down. Ooh, Tebow just misses with a left. Heavy strikes. I'm still waiting for the name of the sheep. I do not see it in the chat, Ross. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. It was Coxslot. No, holy shit, watched the show. Bruce Lee. Wow, they don't know. Shithead. Corey, how dare you? That wasn't the name of the sheep. Oh, a nice kick to the body. Both fighters are throwing. Someone's going to get knocked out. Woo! Tebow throwing fucking bombs. Tebow is roiding out right now. Tebow smash. Woo! This is vintage. Tebow definitely did a couple of cycles before this fight. He is looking in impeccable shape. I would love what the drug testing is. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I think it's going to tighten up a lot as this promotion continues. Well, yeah, as it progresses, yeah. But right now, it looks to be very loose. Tebow going for a single leg right now. Good job by Escudero against the fence to stop him, but Tebow looking good in the first round. A lot of pressure against the cage. I still do not see the name. It's not Spartacus, no. Turd Ferguson, no. It's not Sheep, no. Wow. All right, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a D. I can't believe no one here knows. Tito Ortiz, no. I'm not surprised most of Oscar's fighters are on roids. This is Sean. Let's see Vlad coming in with a donation. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, Despite the popular belief, Mose is not a racist. He's been seen live with a black guy and a China man. It's true. It's true. I've actually breathed the same oxygen as both of those races. So, so thank you, Vlad. This is goddamn truth. It's not Daryl. It's not Dale. It's not Dave. It's not Dan. Wow. No. Oh, oh. Second sight gets the answer right. Second sight. Dimitri. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Why'd you tell me if I couldn't release the information? Well, I wanted you to go along with the game with me. Were you, ah. you going to guess too? 
Oh, takedown over here. Ah, oh, you motherfucking whore. Stream has just buffered. Bruce Bufferidge. Shit balls. Should I? Um, well, if it keeps buff buffering, hold on. We're going to stop this clock and catch up. Yep, we are watching a stream Pay -per -view. of the fights. Crystal clear stuff, but it is buffering here and there. That's all right. Tebow has Escudero down to the ground, and Tebow looking very strong. God damn. The roids looking fantastic on him. He Googled it. This is Corey probably. Frank and Stein had it first. Oh, did he be nose? All right. So Frank with the win. Uh, buff the wood. Fuck you, Callan. You are always a fuckwad. This is Google or God. Well, that's not nice. Products. It's not very nice. What was up with the uh, JRE fight companion today? They were live after the fights reacting to the UFC China. And hardly talking about the fights as well. It was weird. It was uh, weird that they did that. Maybe it was on a delay or something. I don't know what that was about. Get my money back? Well. Uh, yeah. I will never be able to get that money back, Jesse. Yeah? Tebow is still doing work from the top over here. His one leg passed over and is grinding out the first round. Escudero cannot get anything going here. As Tebow doing a fantastic job keeping him on his back. Escadero is trying everything, but Tebow, too powerful, keeping him down to the ground. They didn't get up uh, with the real Gs like the MMA holes is drunk savage. Shit in buckets. Shub uh, leaked out. UFC Ooh. going top with USADA. Going top with USADA. Tebow is getting some elbows to the, to the head there, right behind the ear. And he's trying to cut him up from the back. But it's not going to really win him the round as... Oh, you mean uh, Escudero with the elbows? Yeah, Escudero's giving the elbows, but Tebow's getting them on, yeah. the, on the back of his Oop, head. Nice job by Tebow mounting Escudero. Escudero's trying to make it hard, and Tebow has the mounts. 35 seconds left, and Tebow might finish this fight. The mm. veteran, I don't know. Is he going to do it? Nah, he's not going to finish it. Escudero's just trying to stay alive here. Oh, Escudero flips the script. Escudero flips the script and gets inside the guard of Tebow. Tebow with very high legs. Maybe going to attack the arm of Escudero, but Escudero gets out of it. There is a cut over the left eye of Tebow, and that probably was from the elbows. Mm -hmm. Escudero, if he can get out of this round, very nice job. Now Escudero throwing shots from inside the guard. Tebow with a lot of oh, elbows. Escudero ending strong. Nah. Jess, that was a win for uh, Tebow, but the second round could be an interesting one. Tebow threw a lot in that first round. And how is his gas tank going to hold up? That's the question. Chat. Uh, Steve Johnson says, Boneyard Militia. Smiley face. Jake Beckley says, JBH, you should put your hair up high as fuck. I do when I'm not on air. Ask. I, I always do. I always have my hair up. Um, Put your hair up, Jess, as Coleroyd. Vito Garcia says, round two. Nancy Galee says, sad for Brian Callen. Goggle Products says, Hanukkah. Almond Bros. 74 says, how the fuck is my stream now ahead of yours? Well, Jacques Matthews. There's a lot of reasons. A lot of things going into it, unfortunately. But we have the clock if you want to sync it up. It's going to be all over the place tonight. It is what it is. JBH cooking show tonight. See, oh no. Oh, because I'm drinking? Drink, drunk baking? Jesse makes these uh, cinnamon rolls, cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns. They're really good. They're very good. In fact, you can watch the growth of me. As I consume her cooking, she huh. she is doing a good job, and she's gonna make me very. I'm gonna be a whale in in like three more months. I am gonna be a complete whale. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. You said it's the end. I cook healthy for you. I'm definitely not gonna look like Tebow. Tebow definitely does not live. Uh, he doesn't live off of cinnamon buns. All right, the second round has begun for us. There is a delay. We might after this fight, let's refresh it again because sure. we probably are in the past. Oh man, both fighters are trading on the feet. Escudero is trying to put up the heat. Oh, Escudero eats a left. Nice chin on Escudero, but how many of those is he going to hit? Oh, every time Escudero. Oh, both fighters are swinging. What a fight in the second round. Tebow is throwing bombs, and Escudero is just standing there and eating them. Escudero with a right. Escudero right on the money. Tebow eats it. Escudero goes for the double and takes down Tebow. That head movement. <sighs> wow, what an exchange to start the second round. And now this is trouble for Tebow. Eating nasty elbows. Escudero. It's so funny. You look at these two and you'd be like, yeah, there's no way Escudero is going to have anything against Tebow. But the gas tank is the issue here. 
Tebow looking fantastic in the first round, and now Escudero has him in the middle of the cage, sliced him up with some elbows. Tebow is holding on, perhaps for a stand-up, but Escudero nice and comfortable. Tebow's got to scoot his ass back to that cage. He is dead in the middle of this, this cage right now, and he is eating some shots from up top. Hmm. Finally something, right? That was a what a way to start the second round. Both fighters landing. No, Chuck and Tito have not fought yet. Nope, nope, nope. 422 watching. Welcome to the stream, friends. Welcome, 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 motherfuckers. We are reacting to this card. They have not entered the cage yet. There are three more fights. That's it. And that is it. So far, um, now we're settled in, right? Oh, Escudero with another elbow. Now we're settled into the card. We're comfy. We're cozy. Yeah. And it's okay. You know, it's it's all right. Not the best card I've ever seen. But... It's entertaining. It's it's starting to pick up. This fight's starting to pick up a little bit. Escudero is still inside the guard of Tebow and working the body and switching up to the head with elbows. Tebow's holding onto the hands, just trying anything. And oh my god, elbows to the midsection by Escudero. Elbow, elbow, elbow inside the gut of Tebow. That cannot feel good. Uh seriously wants to know who's smoking. Not us, but I'm sure majority of the chat is. Oh, Tebow doing a good job getting back up to the feet. Escudero goes for the neck. Escudero trying to drag him back down, but Tebow crawling over to the cage, going to try to use that to get up and does. Good job by Tebow getting up, but a little bit down to the floor again on a knee is Tebow. Tebow right by his corner, nodding like I'm good. Escudero punching the body, trying to make it very difficult for Tebow, and Tebow goes for the neck and gets back up. Tebow using the leverage off the back of the head of Escudero gets back up to the feet. And here we go. We're swinging again. Oh, Tebow is throwing some lazy shots, but they still look like they are doing something here as Escudero pushes to the fence. Escudero level changing, going for a double and another takedown. Oh, on the knees. Not too much. Tebow back up. So a little quick dump by Escudero, but Tebow doing a good job of flipping the script. And oh, Tebow has Escudero in trouble. Some, el some lefts. Coming in on the head of Escudero by Tebow. Trying to flip the script in the second round. Escudero trying to get him back down to the ground. On the leg, humping the shit out of that leg. And Tebow is standing up with wide legs. Ass to the cameraman. You think the cameraman just took a picture of his anus? That's what I saw. <laughs> nice long lens going into that anus. 115 left in the second round. Escudero looks at his corner. He nods. Tebow's nodding as well. They're talking to each other over there. A lot of times these fighters make agreements in fights. It's really bizarre. They start talking to each other. It's funny. When you sit cage side, you actually hear these things. They talk to each other. He's like, hey, man. How was your day? Oh, I was good. I had some eggs this morning. One thing, Jesse, won't make moss is a sandwich. I made you a sandwich earlier. Yeah. I always make you She sandwiches. makes me sandwiches all the time. She's a very good every, sandwich Every maker. meal of the day I make you. Yeah, she's a, she's a, she feeds my fat belly. All right, here we go. Oh, fucking stream is buffering. The bufferage. You know what? Now buffrage? is the time is to, to recycle this thing. Okay. Going to the third round, unfortunately. That's that's the uh, the thing that sucks about watching it this way. You know why? It's because we're getting closer to the main event. They're gassed out already. Yeah, I'm sure people are finding this. And yeah, I heard Chuck been hitting moose, uh, uh, ox heads. To train for uh, Tito, big ass head. This is Josh. All right, so that round is over. Man, that's a close one there. I'm going to give it, ah, oh, man. I'm going to give it to Escudero. Even though T, uh, Tebow turns it on, just that, it's an interesting one. What do you think in that um, second round? I'm gonna, I want to say Tebow because the striking was tremendous. And even on the ground, I think he had a little bit more of an advantage. I might give it to Tebow on this one. Tebow, all right. I mean, it could go either way this round. Tebow definitely got the first. This one goes either way. I'm going to give it... I'm going to split fight. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Escudero, I'm going to give him the second. Let me know in the chat what you guys say. But I say it all comes down to this round. Let's see what the chat says. Dude, Chronic says another good fight. Zuriously says, thanks from all the fans. We fucking love you both properly. We fucking love you, seriously. We fucking love you. 
Gracias. David Flores is dropping the fist bump. Brian Werder says Tebow. Almond Bro 74 says fights haven't been bad at all. B knows 202 says Chuck is snorting up while Tito is lubing up. Sean Rosa says steroids one hell of a drug and they must be sharing Kenny Ellos tacos. Kenny Ellos? Canellos. Kenny Ellos. So the fight just started and they didn't even warn us. They're just showing uh what the fuck. They're showing uh highlights and then they flash to the fight just going. All right. There there are some uh production problems here, but what I've noticed is the the card is starting to flow a little bit better, right? I'm noticing that. It's getting into a little bit of a rhythm here. As the seats are filling up, people are here to see Chuck Tito number 3. Tebow in the third round, which I believe is a split fight, has Escudero to the fence. So very good job by Tebow, not making it easy for Escudero to just throw haymakers and, or try to go for the takedown. Tebow pushing against the fence. Escudero pushes him off. He's like, no, let's go. They separate, and here we go. Oh, They're back throwing. Super chat. We got a super chat, real, real. Israel versus old man Silva set for 234. Lame. Yeah. Yeah, someone uh, jumped in in the chat. We were speaking about that earlier, Real Real. We actually showed that, actually. Yeah, Brett Okamoto. Look at this. Come on. Where are you, Real Real? Step your game up. But, um, oh, wait, wasn't Real Real the one I broke? Who's, who's the one that, I don't know, was it a super chat or someone jumped in? Yeah, that fight is happening. If you're jumping in, this is happening, and it looks like 234, February, old versus young. Takedown, Escudoro. Back up is... Oh, the super old man. Chat. Another super chat. Bruce is still in China, hence the bufferage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yes. Nailed it. Yes, 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 yes. Nailed it. Bruce is in buffer, bufferage zone in China. I can't believe Bruce uh, went to the uh, China event. These two are tired. It's a badass. It's a badass announcer right there. Yeah, we're in the third round, and they do look tired. Who is going to dig deep and get the win, Jess? I mean, the, the second round could have been Tebow. It, it really could have been. You got to think, ooh, nice right comes in by Escudero. I don't know if anyone's getting finished here. These two are both exhausted. A short elbow by Escudero. Lands on the face of Tebow. A right lands by Escudero. Tebow backing up as Escudero pushes him into the middle of the cage. Three more fights left. Three more fights left. What does beating Andy Silva in 2019 even mean? I mean, when... Silva being as old as he is, you know, it's, Kobe. I mean, whoa. Chaos. Covington. Oh, Lil Dick's here. The Kobe Covington donation. I want to be inside you. Not really. Maybe, though. What y'all doing later? <laughs> what are you doing later? Well, I'm probably going to be detoxing. Thank you. Lil Dick for the donation. The Colby Covington donation. You guys are very generous tonight. Thank you so much for the donations. If you if you guys like podcasts, we have the audio versions of our weekly shows. Podbean and iTunes completely free. So go check out The MMA Holes on iTunes and Podbean. And you can check out the audio version of our shows when you're running, when you're fucking, when you're driving. Because we don't encourage you watching us while you drive. Unless you're a, you're a good multitasker. And you have a PBA card. All right, here we go. 130 left, Jesse. A close one, in my opinion. Even though the first round was a dominant Tebow round. I think this one's a dominant Tebow round. I mean, I do give Tebow the edge in this round. I definitely do give him the edge, but it is really close. Let's see. Now, Escudero keeps on going for that takedown, and Tebow's like, nah, fuck it. Let's keep it here. Tebow backs up to the middle of the cage. They are they have nothing behind the punches anymore. Oh, Tebow going for the takedown and gets it. Beautiful stuff. That's veteran action right there by Tebow. It's like, let's score that takedown. Late in the fight. Smart move. I'm not going to push him away. Let, look at this guy. He's doing fucking squats. Escudero is trying to get back up as Tebow is just putting all his weight on him. He's like, fuck. Tebow is just laying on him. Tebow is exhausted. What a smart takedown by the veteran. Beautiful stuff. I mean, listen, it, this is not pretty. You're Tebow is just out. holding on to him and just hugging him on the mat. You got to think the ref is warning him. Escudero is just trying to slip out of this. But Tebow's like, fuck it. I got the takedown. I'm just going to sit here and coast. 23 seconds left. Oh, this is so ugly. The ref is warning him. Tebow is just kind of laying on him. Escudero is looking over like, what the fuck? But, dude, you got to get up. 
Escudero can't just be complaining. You got to get up. 10 seconds left. Fuck. Fucking A. It's kind of, you know, I kind of wish. Oh, Tebow, here we go. Tebow's dropping some lefts. And that's it. The fight is over. Smart takedown. I Here's think that, that. that gives him the win right there. 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 yes. Likes. yes. 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. I hope the dislikes die of leprosy. Shout out to the motherfucking MMA holes for liking these videos. Appreciate it. Jesse. Yes. 445 people watching. We need to let the dragons loose. We're going to find out the results of this fight. Okay. And the fight is right over here. I'm thinking Tebow got the win. That late minute, last takedown. I mean, this is a decision. It could go any way. But I do believe Tebow got the win. Jesse, what do you think? Did he break his losing streak? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Tebow 100%. All right. Okay. What do you think in the chat as we wait for the decision? What do you say in the chat? Keeg says, Contagious Yawn. Two joins us, 23 more subs, Chris. Pleasure Dragon says, Dragons. Dragons. Sean Rosa, shout out to the MMA holes. Shout out. Steve Johnson says, David Flores Jr. Asking Shiro said earlier, Oscar is in the back hanging himself right now. Rick Free says, hi from Dubai. Hello, Dubai. What up, Dubai? Duke Chronic says, good fight till corner said, rape him in the third. Whoa. Roberto says, Los Angeles, never know. All right, here we go, Jesse. You ready for the official decision? I'm going to find oh, out. Ready. Let's find out. Tebow. 54 strikes thrown in favor of Tebow. 90, uh, 93. Escudero, 54. Tebow, 51. Escudero, 33. Landed Tebow. So in, that's in favor. So the percentage is good for Tebow, but the volume goes in the favor of Escudero. Uh, Frank Muir has one and three in favor of Tebow. I concur. But you never know. You never know. Let's see what they say. Joe Martinez. Tebow is shredded. We have a unanimous decision. There we go. Tebow gets the win. Jesse gets the win. Tebow for the win. The crowd seems like they're like, eh, whatever. But uh, it was a decent fight. Tebow with a smart takedown at the end. Solidifies the fight. And fantastic job over here for Gleason Tebow breaking that losing streak. And going to 33-14-0. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we only have two fights left on this interesting card. Golden Boy MMA. We have that, and we have Chuck Tito, number three. We're going to be right back, so stay tuned, and we're going to go strong for two more fights. Shout out to our sponsors, Tiger Life Energy.
If you have not subscribed yet, well, what are you waiting for? 20 more subscribers. We let the dragons loose. Two more fights. The main event of the evening. Chuck Tito, number three. If you guys are excited in the chat, drop a fat. 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 Immediately. Fat. 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 Fifteen thousand three hundred and eighty-three subscribers. What are you waiting for? Get your asses over to the greatest MMA show on YouTube. The MMA Holes. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. JBH, are you ready? I'm always ready. Chat room, are you ready? Van Chipman says, Mudflops is wearing me out. Mimic you, the Pokemon says, who wants eight inches tonight? Beano's 202, Brendan Schaub cleans his vagina with Tiger Life. Vito Garcia, these next two fights should be good. Daron and Chuck, let's go. Mike Mike, porn music, A9 Jewel, white better than black. James says, if you want to watch for free, Google it, you morons. Wonderful, wonderful. Hector Torres says you can probably watch it on YouTube after it's over. Rape the Booty Hole says J. Scott Ivy. Roberto says Canelo $365 million. Something, something, something on this. Teal Harbor, what's with this track? What's not with this track? Brian Roger had Tiger Life once and got so sick thought I was gonna die. Sean Rosas, always ready, you sexy people. Mimic you, the Pokemon says read this. Ooh, baby, keep going, don't stop. Big Odin Blaze says, laughing my ass off pit. Mitch H says, go get that bottle of proper 12. Proper 12. That's what we're drinking right now. Proper 12. Right, Connor? Yes, sir. That's right. All right. Two more fights, Jesse. Let's look at what we have going on over here. We have Darren or Duran Win versus Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler full of personality. So let's look at this filthy bastard. All right, there he is. Woo, look at me with my short shorts. All right, let's scroll down. And Tom Lawler coming off of an L at UFC 196. A former UFC fighter. Uh, let's see. Oh, he beat Gian Vellante. That's not a huge accomplishment, but he did finish him. Interesting stuff. How long ago? Yeah, it was 2015. All right. Uh, Queeper. So my man over here has a bunch of up and down fights from the UFC. Big personality, ten and six, now fighting over with Do Oscar or the Doctor De La Hoya's promotion. This short, stocky man, Duran Win. Well, let's look at his statisticals over here. We scroll down, and that's what he does: win, right? Four in a row wins coming from Bellator. So we have an interesting one over here. Do we have the man that's been around for a little bit, or do we have the little man that's been around for? Well, whatever. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Jess, what do you say in this one? I am going to go with filthy Tom Lawler and his his comeback, his almighty comeback. Filthy yeah. Tom Lawler. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. He's a lot bigger, right? He, yeah. he he seems a lot bigger than this kid. But w let's look at Wynn over here. Let's see how he won. I didn't really pay attention to that because I was falling asleep. Uh, punches, K-O-T-K-O, -K -O, punches, ground and pound. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go for the midget. I don't know why. I'm going to go for the little guy. It's probably a really stupid choice, but I'm just going to go with the midget. What do you guys say in the chat? Just because I'm bored. I want to spice it up. Drunk Savage says, Van Shipman, Fax, Colorado Lawler, Vito Garcia, Darren, Win. Second Sight says, Crown Royale, uh, Proper 12. Drunk Savage says, let TBH call this fight. I'm good. Gary Bando Sandwich Worthy says, Zimmer 3 suit. Seriously says, Win is a monster in muscle. Just wait. Derek Grant says, Tabalt is vet. Bino's 202, Win trains with Cormier. Law of Attraction says 205 pounds. Darren, what the fuck? Does he train? Well, he's Fresno, to California. He might train, train with Cormier. He looks like he has a wrestling background. Uh, let's see a little bit about him. Darren Win. Where's his camp over here? Uh, affiliation, uh, dethrone. 
Career is in Fresno, California. No, I don't know. Who knows? He does look like a wrestler, though. He does have that wrestler physique. So, yeah. All right, chat. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Let's 450 do people this. hanging with the boys. Welcome. Two more fights, and that's it. They're showing a lot of Canelo Alvarez over here who is signed with Dazen or DAZN. Now, DAZN, do they... I mean, I guess they're paying for... They've been doing a lot of Dazen, like, promotion on this. I mean, I'm assuming they paid for it, but I'm curious if there's any affiliation with... Why would Fight TV... Well, there are fights, so I guess they just paid for ads. It's always interesting when you're watching one thing and they're promoting another streaming yeah. service. That's kind of bizarre. Maybe Well, certain organizations don't all, all go through the same... Well, they kind of go against each other, if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But He's all already right. all sweaty. Look at him. Greasing up. Tito. Tito Ortiz. Oh. <laughs> because of who they are, you know, there's a little bit of excitement, but it, it is it it has a um a hint of cringiness. And you have Perillo in the background. What a nut job Perillo is, right? The guy who slapped Chris Cyborg. We have that donation down below with Perillo popping right across Cyborg's face. He is the one standing in the shadows for Tito Ortiz. <sighs> Let's see. Who will win tonight's main event? They have a stat over here. It's 50 50. What are they, what are they polling the audience? There's no way it's a dead heat. There's no, there's no, that's just wrong. There's no way. So they're showing win and Lawler right now. Tom Lawler. Filthy Tom Lawler. All right. You think Tito's lubing up? All right. What, yeah. what is this chat room saying over here? Yeah, I think Throw all over the place. Tito is lubing up. Didn't you see him? Oh, yeah, you're right. By the way, good call. Tom Lawler is fighting out of AKA. There he is. He's hitting the Mets Bob right now. Bob Ross. Yeah, with the uh, with the violent Bob Ross. Yeah, I'm 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 win all day, all day. He's so much smaller. Who gives a fuck? I'm with the win. Nah. I'm down with the win. Nah. Nah. All right. So we have some predictions. Mike Bean saying, "I say Liddell for the third time." Chuck Chuck first round TKO. Broken production value. <laughs> <laughs> Duran wins. Uh, Mackenzie Mudflaps. Oh, Duran is not fighting. Super we got super chat. chat. Super chat. Glenn. JBH, if Chuck wins, you have to kiss me at the next PFC show. <laughs> ah, I appreciate the gesture, Glenn. I appreciate the gesture, but I, I don't know if that's. Hold on, let's put Jesse on the spot over here. <laughs> Please don't do that. If Chuck wins, will you be kissing Glenn? <laughs> Come on, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Please appreciate it. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. I hope the dislikes die of the crusade. All right, friends. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is a long break in between uh, the last fight and the co main event over here. Yeah, this graphic is a little dopey. It's just like just show the graphic. Why does it have to like fly in like so slow? Just put it there. They're like, look at my graphic. Yeah, drunk savage. I listen. It was a, a nice a nice gesture there, but I'm pretty sure that this guy, um, he wouldn't appreciate it very much. So. Well, you could kiss him on the pass. cheeks. It's you didn't have to go full like like make out. He just said kiss. That's I don't true. know where your mind is. Dirty mind. Well, when someone girl. says you have to kiss me, yeah, you could give you me a kiss on the cheek. What are you? Where's your mind? You don't have to blow him. I mean, I'm Whoa, sure. Why are you going that far? Well, I mean, you're like, you know, he would mind. I, you can kiss a guy on the cheek. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna kiss a guy on the cheek. Why not? Because I'm with you. You kiss my father. The hello. Fuck? Oh, that's my, different. In front of me. How dare you? That's different. It's your dad. Like, it's like a gesture. Yeah. Like, like. It's nice to see you. I kiss your mom on the cheek, too. So if I kissed a girl on the cheek, would you flip out? I would fucking lose my mind. Whoa, really? Yes, if I saw you kissing some other girl. Are but I kiss all my me? friends hello. It's different. Yeah? Yeah, because it's a, it's a welcoming gesture, what you're doing. Well, it is. In Italian, the Italian culture, which yeah. is half of me. I do it to We your kiss parents. women out of respect. Like, we kiss them as respect. We make out but with not them. Not all women. <laughs> no, we kiss them on the cheek as not respect. Not all women. 
Yeah. You've shaken some women's I, hands. I have, I've had clients where I kiss them hello and goodbye. I do. You even told me when one client kissed you hello. It was a little weird. That it, was, that it weirded you out the, because you guys weren't that close. It was a little... Wait, wait, hold on a second. What is going on here? Why does he have a microphone? Hold on. Wait, what? Oh, I missed it. Was he singing on the way in? Probably. Tom Lawler had a microphone. <laughs> was he singing on the way in? What the fuck? And then he threw the microphone into the crowd. Oh my god. What are we doing here? What are we doing? This is going to be so easy. Tom Lola fa fastest finishes uh, 10 seconds. Caesar Barros. Jason McDonald 50 seconds. CB Dalloway 55 seconds. Michael Cooper 105 Cooper. submission. Hmm. Cooper. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's I'm a see. Proper dame. Remember, Chris, Jess oh, is part Mexican. LOL. Love you, girl. This is JD. So is that a Mexican thing? Mexicans don't uh, they don't kiss people hello? Honestly, my family, we never did that until after I met you. Mm -hmm. Like after I met your family and stuff like oh, that. Super that's the first time I've ever. Hmm. Real, real. You're not half Italian. You're half Sicilian. No, see, that's wrong. I'm half Sicilian and Napolitano. So I'm not completely half Sicilian. So. Real, real. Get your facts straight. Stop stop with the low IQ donations. How dare you? All right. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so uh, what's it called? I have a friend that that's, has uh, an Indian background, right? And yeah, I think she, you told me about this. Yeah, she don't kiss any. It's, but it's, it's not against for religion. the religion. No, it's against religion. She does not kiss anyone near, like on the face. Like if you kiss her, hello? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Who's this fuck after they sneeze? What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Gee, fuck. It's like a Tourette sneeze. <laughs> yeah, she gives you the side of her head. And I know yeah. her. Like, I'm well, for me, it's her. not religious reasons. It's just I've just never raised in a family that did that. Like, every once in a while, I might hug someone. Like, I'll hug my, my grandmother or yeah. something. But, like, oh, no, we don't kiss each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. One quarter, Napoleon. Yikes. You have DNA of rats. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's the case. Yeah, I'm half. I actually, yeah. So I have a quarter black in me and quarter rat in me. And then Mick. Yeah, that's All right. me. I'm a tomato potato. Uh, Chris is just a nerdy American ginger, not Irish, not Italian, and not nothing. I don't know if that is proper English, Khabib goat. So go back to your country and learn English. All right, here we go. Uh, poop on my hair. Bum here. Hundred dollars. Okay, thank you for joining in. I see the, the chat room is on fire. I see there's some interesting comments. The donation's on fire as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys showing up and making the show even more ridiculous than it already is. As if it could get any more ridiculous, you guys contribute to the insanity, so we do appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. 15385 we are so close to those dragons. Let's make it happen. Let's let those dragons fly. If you're not subbed, let's do it. America, we got the little flag over here just because we're just changing it up. All right, here we go. We have a fight that's about to go down. As Duran Wynn just entered the cage, both fighters are in the cage, and it's time to react. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You ready, Jesse? He is so much smaller. It's crazy. He's tiny. Duran tiny. Wynn, what do you say? Wrestling? A little wrestling action? Oh, a little super wrestling? Super chat. Super chat. Real, real. Moe's has a good sense of humor for a low IQ mix. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Okay. 29 years old is Duran Wynn. 35 is Tom Lawler. 5'7 Wynn. 6 foot Lawler. A 3 inch reach advantage in favor of Lawler. I got it. It's not the lights. It's the mat. The mat should be white. Yeah? The mat should be white. Hmm. There's too much blue going on. It's not the lights. Lights are fine. It's the mat. Yeah? Yep. All right. So tell them to change the color of the mat. I thought you like blue. You don't like blue? I like blue, but it should be blue lettering with a white mat, not white lettering on a blue mat. It should not. It nope. does look like the color correction is off right now because of the lights bouncing off of that blue mat. They do have a tint of Smurf, everybody. So maybe that is a little distracting. Yep. It should be a white mat. Tom Lawler is being introduced right now. He's breathing in the air. He's looking crazily into the crowd. Has a bizarre hairdo with a ponytail. Kind of like a little Roy Nelson action going on. Speaking of little, Deron Wynn. I mean, how... 
This guy's 5'7". He looks like he's like 4'2". This guy looks really tiny. It's 5'7". Someone has to check that. He does not look like he's 5'7". He looks even shorter. Not like 5'7". Violent Bob Ross right behind him. But man, he is tiny. Mike Beltron. Every time I lift weights, it's like coming. All right. Stephen Queen has said, every time I lift weights, it's like coming. Jesse, what movie is that from? Take a think. Take a think. As we get ready to start the clock. Think, think, think. Don't help around the chat. What movie is that from? Did we just recently watch it? We did not, but I think we might have to watch that movie. It's it's a hilarious movie. Have we ever seen it? Um... I've seen it a million times. Can you give me a hint? Okay. Every time I lift weights, it's like coming. All right, here we go. The clock has started. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Coming and coming. <laughs> Is it a comedy? <laughs> it should be a comedy. It's not really. It's kind of a documentary. Stop it. Stop showing him. Mike Lane's alone. How dare you? Well, Pino, looking. stop I'm it. I'm not looking. No way. I'm not looking. You're probably not going to know. All right. The first word in the movie is called pumping. You're not going to know. It's called Pumping Iron. That is the name of the movie. We mm. need to watch it. Lou Ferrigno, a long, young Lou Ferrigno. It's about bodybuilders. It's great. He's being interviewed and he's sitting there. It's like, it's like gumming. All right, anyway, let's watch this fight over here. Mm. All right, Pumping Iron. Fantastic movie. A great date movie, right? <laughs> a great date movie. I'm down to watch it. It's really, it's great. Uh, muscular men oiled up, all roided oh, yes. up and shit. Yeah. I'm down to watch this. Schwarzenegger is like, he's literally in crazy. All right, let's watch this fight. Uh, Duran Wynn. Clinching up. Oh, a short left hand. I like the way Duran Wynn is just hunting down Tom Lawler. Oh, that right hand coming in strong by Duran Wynn. This dude is fire. His height is probably the he problem. He has to be. Look how tiny he is. He is fucking fire. Look at this little motherfucker. Tom Wynn, uh, Tom Lawler is backing up as Wynn is coming. Whoa, Ooh. head kick just misses and Tom Lawler. Good, that was a good kick. I like this little fuck. That was a good kick. <laughs> Duran Wynn, my new favorite fighter. He is the GOAT. Look at him. Duran Wynn. Very Wind swift. Comes over with the left and misses. Tom Lawler resets. He's like another DC. He does have a DC-like approach to his fighting, for sure. Makes sense, right? Predator or Conan or Terminator or Commando. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Oh, fantastic movies. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Predator. The first Predator. Because I've watched that movie so many fucking times. I'm going to go with that one. We're actually going to go on a Brian binge watch. Roger, what was Speed? Who was in Speed? I think I've seen it. I think I've seen that. Keanu Reeves. And that bitch I can't stand. What's her name? Sandra Bullock. It was a good movie though. That I was probably the that. only one of the only... you never seen Speed? No, I think I've seen it. Yeah, that's... What, what was that about? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it after this fight. Okay. It's about a bus that could not stop. Speeding, and it couldn't oh, go under a speed that. limit. That's why. Yeah. I, I've never seen it. Very good concept. Well, welcome to the show, Speed Smurfio. All right, here we go. Duran Wynn is still hunting down Tom Lawler. This is pretty good. Wow, Tom Lawler's face is fucked up. Oh my god, under both eyes, bleeding, and Duran Wynn four and zero, looking very confident in the first round. Lawler with a nice left comes in. Lawler with another left. All right, now Lawler picking it up a little bit. Trying to use that reach. How much of it? I mean, there's got to be a significant reach advantage, right? This is his comeback, too. So. Well, you know, in a fight like this, you got to think the veteran Ring has rust? a little bit of an edge, you know? Yeah, but you think Look it at uh, Tebow. Ring rust. Or Tebow. Lola circling around as Duran Wynn is still the aggressor. Duran Wynn keeps going upstairs with that kick, but missed again. Oompa Loompa, says Roberto Hernandez. With enough and the right drugs, I'd still bang her, says Steve Johnson. Hmm. Who are we talking about? You. Mm, my lamp fell down on the couch? No. Hmm. My lamp is on fire. We can see everything <laughs> behind us. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's on fire. Hold on. No, oh, fuck it. You can't stop the security Short express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Shout out to Josh Tyree for killing me with those Tito big head jokes. <laughs> what the fuck? 
We missed the Tito Big Head Jokes. Jesus Christ. Any donations that come in, feel free to say Tito Big Head Jokes. That would be a good way to interrupt the show. Thank you very much for the donation. Shortcake. You're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> How did I miss those Tito Big Head Jokes? Jesus. It's a disservice by me. 526, welcome. We are watching the co-main event. Win versus Lawler. Win looks very good in the first round as Lawler's face is all bloodied up. Lola's trying to get something going here, but Wynn is definitely the aggressor moving forward. Comes in with a right and misses. Nice job by Lawler. Getting Wynn off balance. Wynn bouncing around, trying to unload on that right hand. Comes in with a left Ooh. and a... Oh my God, both sides attacked. Lawler's eyes are bleeding. Bloods of tear. Tears of blood. Bloods of tear. Tears of blood. Teal Harbor says, the only fight companion I will ever watch... Thank you, Teal. Appreciate it. All right. First round is done. And I am giving that to Duran Win. Jess, what do you say? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Duran on this one. 100%. Brian Rivera wants to know, is Golden Boy MMA in a ring or a cage? It would be a cage. I don't know the shape, though. It's it's a big, roundish cage. I don't know how many corners it's it has. It's a hexagon. Is it a hex? I think. Don't All quote right. me on when that. It, when it gets a, an it's aerial hexagon. shot, we're going to take a look. Can't be a circle. That's like Bellator's thing. Can't be an octagon. That is UFC's thing. So the question is, how many corners are on this cage? Yep, it does have corners. I think Maybe it's a it hexagon. It could be a hex. Thanks, guys. Is yep, Brian? it's a hexagon. Hex is the answer. Oh, that Chris says hex as well. It's confirmed. Chef. Daniel Miranda. Make him fly. Y'all stream. Have a talk with Bruce. <laughs> is it is it buffering are we buffering hopefully we're, we're coming in clear but thank you for the donation daniel miranda is our stream is going good over here shout out to our patrons motherfucking patron coming through all right here we go second round if you want to sync it up with us i know there is a delay apologies for that but we have a clock up there so you know where we're at who is the asian lady Oh, the oh, left land by Wynn. That definitely stumbled Taylor. Rip Anthony Alola. Demio. Kia in 1951 in the Korean War. What? Rest in peace. I don't know. Thank you. Really? <laughs> it's so random. So random. It, it completely throws you off. So it was just a stumble by Lawler as Wynn tagged him. Lawler shook it off. We still have a second round going on here. Tom Lawler. Ooh, what a collision coming in. Tom Lola greets him with a right. That one definitely landed flush. Backs up win a little bit. A left comes in by Lawler. Lola's trying to hit his stride now. What a size of it. It looks like two different weight classes here, right? Yeah. I am cute, says Rick. I'm sure you're adorable. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jesse, 10 more subscribers. We let the dragons loose. Oh, my God. Jesse, could you imagine if we let dragons loose before Chuck Tito, number three? I can imagine it, actually. <sighs> Dreams really do come true on the MMA holes. So let's see those dragons fly. Hit the uh, chat with some emojis of dragons. Oh, Lola with a right comes in and eats a left. I mean, uh, Wynn coming in with a right and Lola with a left. Wynn with a hook that misses. So the reach of Lawler is paying off, but Wynn is definitely winning this fight so far. So far, two rounds. Well, we're in the second round right now with 315. Oh, Wynn with a nice right and a left. God damn, this guy, he got to throw some heat. It doesn't really seem to be affecting Lawler, though. Lawler's eating the power moving forward. So I don't know how much this is translating. Now, Lawler, Lawler with nice... Couple of shots over here. Win with a flurry. Super chat. Lola's laughing at him, but the power is not affecting. Carvel ice cream invented in Queens, NY. Yum. Carvel ah, ice cream. Car. Does Carvel have cookie puss? Was it invented in Queens? What is it? Carvel ice cream. You ever hear Carvel? Carvel. Oh my goodness. We live in Queens, and I've never heard of Carvel. How have you not heard of Carvel? How dare you? What's Get that? out! What is Carvel? I don't know if Carvel... I think Carvel has cookie puss. I don't know. We cannot show the fights. No. And we cannot do that, but we'll react to it as we got distracted by Real Real. But thank you. Fudgy the Whale. 
There we go. Fudgy the Whale was... Fudgy the Whale wasn't as good to me. Fudgy the Whale and Cookie Puss? Oh, my goodness. Cookie Puss had an ice cream cone nose. <laughs> you haven't lived Wait a minute. Isn't Puss. Cookie Puss... Didn't you come up with, like, some bizarre story for me once about Cookie Puss? I don't know. I might have. <laughs> I think you have. I have a funny story about Cookie Puss. Wow. Well, it's, it's for another day. Uh, I remember. I remember the Cookie Puss thing. Because <laughs> I remember I never heard of it before. Oh, my God. A right and a left comes in by win. Tail Lawler's eating everything. I'm saying Taylor. I'm combining his first name and his last. Lawler is eating everything. Now the face is really bloodied up. What kind of chin does this motherfucker have? And now Lawler with a left. Another left by Lawler. Lawler looking good, trying to end the round. I mean, his face doesn't look very good, but he's getting more confident. The right comes in by yeah. Lawler. Win slowing precise. down. Precise striking. <sighs> Win is loading up. And he's landing. But it's not, I mean, it's it's cutting up Lawler's face. Not very good head movement, though, by Wynn. Wynn is just looking to, oh, my God. Comes over with the left and then follows up with the right. That's a DC move right there. He is. He's like a midget DC. DC being 5'11". We have the, he just shit out a Duran Wynn. New York pizza is the worst pizza in the world. That is, like, the the most untrue statement ever. The most untrue statement in the world. Oh, the right. By Win Stumbles Lawler. Lawler regrouping. Wynn is jumping up and down as he's feeling it. 40 seconds left in the second round. God, he's just eating those shots. The main event will start after this fight. We're in a second round of, a round of the co-main. Win Lawler. I see the mouth has dropped and win, right? He's been throwing everything, putting everything into those punches. It's not a lot of vol volume. He's just coming in with big haymakers. Oh, a nut shot. There we go. At the end of the second round, Lola comes in with a nut shot on win and wins. Like, come on, man. Well, it's seconds left in a second. Ref's like, you okay? Wow, Lola looks like complete Got shit. Blood all over him. He's all cut up. The clock starts again. And the round is over. All right, here we go. Going into a third round. I'm going to go two zip in favor DC. of win. But there he is, the GOAT, Daniel Cormier, double champ. Well, now he's just a champ. He's liking what he sees. Jess, what do you think? No Who wonder he's there at this fight. And, of course, look who's corner he's in. Mini DC. That's right. You got Violent Bob Ross. DC is all excited, throwing up gang signs, going West Coast. I don't know. Cali Pizza is this. Are you saying Cali Pizza is the best? What are we doing? You might have the like the best weather, but definitely not the pizza. What are you talking about? Jesse's head movement coach. Tito is his own bobblehead. Mm, I hear Chicago deep dish is code for cock sucking sex party. <laughs> I've had a deep dish in Chicago. Oh. She's from Chicago. I don't think it's as good. It's fantastic. Mm. Gotti became made man after whacking McBratney. There you go. A little Gotti history over there. <laughs> From Real Real. The next time we run into him, we'll, we'll talk about that. Almost 200 likes over here and eight more subscribers. We let those dragons fly. Now, Jesse, you have had both. Yes. Both pizzas. Honest opinion, New York, Chicago pizza. <sighs> deep dish, Chicago. Just You've never had deep dish, dish New York. It's true. No, yeah, we have. Nope. Isn't your, like... What do we have deep dish from New York? We haven't that's had... That's true. Yeah, we haven't had it over well, here. That, we'll still... But deep, deep dish, dish Chicago. is Chicago. No, pizza versus pizza. Like deep dish versus ah, a New York style tell. slice. Ah. Uh, New Park pizza versus fuck. deep dish, dish. You can't do that. To, you, you know what? I don't want to turn on my home, but... Another New nut York shot. Is fucking good. New Park is good. Is this another nut shot? What happened here? Oh, they're checking the cuts. All right, so the third round starts. Wait, was that a nut shot or what? No, that was a nut shot. All right, so now win. Or is it an eye poke? What the fuck? Too busy talking about pizza over here. Third round, Lawler says he's fine. I don't know if it was an eye poke or a nut shot. Deep dish is not pizza. Stop. It's literally a pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's real pizza. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I, I It's a whole another animal. In my opinion. I, both of them are I good. I kind of want pizza. Both the, I know, Listen, there's nothing... Chicago pizza is good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's fantastic. It's just... it. It's not close. In my opinion, it's, it's not close. close. No, it's not. Close it, in, like... 
And like, what would I run to when I'm drunk and hungry? I'm not running to a deep dish. I'm running to New York pizza. That's all I'm running to. I'm like, I'm lunging. I might run to a deep dish. No, if, I were, if, you if I were drunk and hungry, I'd run to a deep dish. If I'm just like looking for for a pie, I'd run to New York pizza, New Park. <laughs> you, she's had New Park fits. You've had fits. Oh, like I want fucking New Park now. I want, like cringe. I, I love New Park. Yeah. I bet most 100 this ref owns a Harley. Uh, $100 that this ref owns a Harley. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that bet. But chances are with that mustache, um, he probably does. Oh, Ooh. here's the takedown. Wynn gets the takedown here in the third round. Zach Goodwin, right in the heart. Right in the... It's okay, I'm a Seahawks fan, so... Doesn't Side control. Me. Side control by Wynn. Now, can he finish the fight, Jesse? 3.30. Oh, can he do shot. it? Daniel Miranda. NY Pizza needs five paper towels to drench all the grease nasty ass pizza. <laughs> you know what? Well, though? it does, yeah. I eat the fucking grease. I'll eat every part of that she pizza. Su- she takes a straw and takes the grease. Like, I it's even. So fucking good. I even dab the grease. I, I, let me tell you, I thought I knew pizza until I, I moved to New York. It's a whole different world. It's. Uh, Stop being a piece of casual. It's lovely. <laughs> Thank you, I Daniel. Have, I have a food gasm every time I take a bite. Out of New York pizza. When I saw that, you know, I, I wasn't really well versed on Pizzeria Uno, and I found out that it came from Chicago. I wanted to light Chicago on fire. I'm like, they they made Pizzeria Uno. Like right there, they should lose, right? Pizzeria Uno is shit. It's trash. It's like the it's like the Olive Garden. Like, Wapa! there's no reason for Pizzeria Uno. It's it's horrific, and it came from Chicago. So you lose right there. That's Pizzeria not- Uno. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I agree, Jesus Kurt. Christ. Kurt Heisrith, all pizza is good. What the fuck is wrong with people? Uh, all agree. pizza is good. Ask well, him. No, it's no, not true. Ask him. I'll eat any kind of pizza. New York is the best, but I'll eat any fucking pizza every night. It, it is totally not content. true. All pizza is not good. I've and I've had pizza in New York that's complete hot trash. In Long Island, Long Island pizza. I've never sucks. had Long Island pizza though. Long Island pizza sucks, and that's New York. I've had Jersey pizza. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We we're just complaining by win. I don't know what he's complaining about. Oh. Lola going for the the neck. He's going for the guillotine. He's got a nice hold on him. A I nice. see now the sweat. No, I don't think he's got it. The sweat is going to be a problem here. Once Win slides out, it's trouble for Lawler. Win is just staying patient right now. Lawler is trying to adjust his grip, but this late in the fight, I don't know if he can get it. He is still holding on to the neck. He is going all in, pushing all his chips forward. Good and job. Slipping out is win. Yep. I am not a fan of those those guillotines, especially late in the fight. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, mouthpiece comes out. The ref stops the fight, puts it back in, and there they go. Back in business. Man, oh, man. Win inside the guard of Lawler. Lawler tries to go for the neck and does not succeed. Look at all that sweat all over the mat. Costco pizza is goat. According to Law of Attraction, the Ninja Turtles will fuck you up if you talk shit about pizza. <laughs> it's true. The Ninja Turtles, they know. Yeah. They bring that pizza back to the sewers. Uh, let's see. Do you eat g- uh, ginger pube pizzas? Yes. Wow, Jesse. Five more subs. Five more subs. Five more subs. And we have 206 likes. We're so close to dragons. So close! Five more subs! Oh my god! Thank you so much for liking the stream. This is the fight we're watching right now. It looks like Duran Wynn is just going to hug out a win over here at the end. The fight was fire to start up with, but not so much now as Wynn is just holding on, grappling, and trying to maintain control at the end of this third round. Tom Lawler is trying to get back up to the feet, but nothing is really happening here. As you hear the 10 second tap, and Win is ending with some rights, lefts, and he is opening up the can at the end of the fight. And right comes in, Tom Lawler trying to get back up. Fight is over. Good fight. Man, what a performance over here by this guy. Now he's 5 0 0 if he gets the decision. I think he does get that decision. Jesse. Yes. Interesting stuff here. Very Maybe we interesting see a future. Stuff. I mean, five foot seven. Hmm. 
Hmm. I, I want to give a shout out to Second Sight real quick. I know we're over the pizza talk, but he said, I fuck with Totino's good shit. And we eat Totino's pizza rolls. In fact, we had some Totino's pizza rolls last night. Well, we're cheap fucks and we went to BJ's and we get a get big I box. I fucking love. They're not that to, great, though. They're fantastic. You know what's great? They're like the perfect midnight snack. You pop them in the toaster oven. You got some a fucking pizza in a bite. Nah. It's fantastic. It's good, but it's not like the best. Ugh. I've had better. I love it. It's not that great. It's great. It's the best. Pizza Hut is I would abortion, live I off of Totino's pizza rolls. Hmm. I would. All right, Jesse. Three more subscribers. We let the dragons loose. We have 625 people watching. As we react to these guys, that is the next fight. That is the next fight of the evening. This one over here, it looks like Win is getting that win. Staying undefeated. We're going to listen to the official decision over here. And let's find out what they say. Dwagons, Dwagons, Dwagons. Good Two fight. More. This is Piggy. I like that name. Piggy. Mm, Piggy. Yeah, five foot seven fighting at 205. I mean, what can you really. That's not. Unfortunately, that height would be a problem in the UFC. At 205, I mean, damn. It's crazy. It's amazing he can't get himself to 185. 56 strikes thrown for win, 85 for oh, Lawler, 26 landed chat. for win, 42 for Real Lawler. Real? 1996 Scotty HBO movie, free on YouTube. You know what? Very good. That one is good, in fact. Real, real. That actually is a good one. The new one with Travolta is... is uh, 1996 Scotty movie. That's a rough one. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. We You watched a little bit. I actually sent it to you. When you were back in Arizona, I sent it to you. Oh, the, the, yeah. That was a good one. I've seen that. Here we go. Yeah. Unanimous decision. All right. Duran gets the win. Win. Win, 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 win. Duran win gets the win. And there he goes. Moves on to 5 0 and 0. The co main event is done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now it's time for your main event of the evening. Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz, number three. The moment everyone's been waiting for. We are going to react to this now. It's on Fight TV. And we're going to do our Fight Buddies live reaction. Jesse, are you pumped up? I'm super pumped up. Chat room, are you pumped up? I'm super pumped up. Let's let those dragons loose. Two more subscribers and... The dragons. Fly. Two more subscribers, Jesse. What is going on in that chat? Brian Wright says, have you ever spit out a piece of pizza and said, wow, that's gross. It made me gag. A9 Jewel says, Chuck is old as fuck. Michael Fletcher, yes. Lava Jackson, let's go. Christopher Shelton, Chuck, Caesar Lydell. Jeff Austin, I got the wheelchairs ready. Daddy loves MMA. Super pump. Jabber, Dapper Dave, Jenna dancing, I missed it. Mega Clock, Tron, Penis. Are you ready for dragons, Jesse? I'm ready for dragons. Let's Ross. go. Holy shit! We are gonna let them fly! The dragons are loose! We did it! Subscriber goals! Let the dragons fly in the chat! Subscriber goals! Subscriber goals! Subscriber goals! Subscriber goals! Celebration time! The only MMA show with dragons. Subscriber goals. They fly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, new peeps, for jumping in. This is the next fight. Whew, man, the dragons are flying. Fantastical stuff. I have to change the goal now to 15,500. There we go. Whoops. 500. Oh, my fucking asshole. Five. There we go. 15,500. Thank you so much 
for letting those motherfuckers fly. We predicted five fifteen thousand by the end of the year, and we're oh, going past it. So we could shit. not do it without you, Mega Coxtron. <laughs> I am Mega Coxtron sixty nine. Bow to my thirteen inches of steel. <laughs> Mega Coctron. Hello, Mega Coctron. Welcome. You're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Mega Coctron. Appreciate all the donations tonight. You guys were very generous. And Jesse, yes, we got to play the 20 like song. 223. 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. Mega Coctron. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes. 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. I hope the dude still likes we are un fuego today. We were alive this morning for UFC China. Now we're alive again the same day. Double dipping Tito versus Chuck part three. All right, Jesse, let's do yes. some picks. You know what? Let's do this. You ready? I'm ready. You may receive correct picks is what we'll achieve. Red beard, light skin, hold your girl tight. It's seven mystic must to pick some fights. Every time I pick, I get them right. So take off your clothes and shut the lights. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, two finishes for Chuck Liddell. Tito Ortiz, the big Mexican head, is looking for redemption. Can he get it tonight is the question. Let us know in the chat what you think. But I'm saying right now the mysticalness is going strong. And I say the younger of the two, Tito Ortiz, will get the wind. Wind. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. The wind, too. The win in this fight. Will it be a finish, Jesse? I'm going to say yes. I think Tito Ortiz finishes Chuck Liddell. In the third round. Jesse, what do you say? I'm going to go Tito on this one. All right. Tito, do you see a finish? A uh, decision? What do you see? <sighs> no, I'm going to... I'm going go to I'm gonna go decision. All right. Let me know in the chat right now. Let me know what you think. Tito or Chuck. Now, I am rooting for Chuck Liddell. But I think Tito's going to get it. All right. Jay Kyle says Iceman Classic overhand. Chris Duke, Chuck's gonna surprise everyone and out wrestle Tito. Zach Goodwin, Chuck is king. Chris and JBH need to wear UFC card girl outfits as Raul Rotso. Robert Shields, Chuck in two. Paul Fay, shout out to Richard Klukinski, the original Iceman. Armin and Daniel says Chuck. Liddell KO says seriously. B knows 202. Tito by heart attack. Tito, Chuck in two. Chuck, Tito first round. Tito, Chuck doesn't get a go past round one. Chuck round win round one. Chuck, Tito will probably but win. All right, so this is what I want I you to do. Chuck with Fox and in the chat, in just the put ends. Chuck or Tito. Just Chuck or Tito in the chat. I want to see if we could really fuck Jesse up right now. You have to say Chuck or or Tito, spray the chat right now with almost 700 people watching. I can do Chuck it. Chuck or Tito. Let's see how fast Jesse can read. Chuck or Tito, Chuck or Tito. That's it. Ready? One, two, three. The chat's on fire. Chuck, Tito, Chuck, Chuck, Tito, Chuck, 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 Tito, Tito, Chuck, Tito, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck makes me something. Chuck, Tito, Chuck, Chuck, Tito, Chuck, Tito, Chuck, Tito, Tito, Tits, Tito, 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 Tito. Go, go, go. Chuck, 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 Tito, 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 Chuck, Chuck, Fuck Chuck, 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 Mike, Chuck, Tito, Chuck, 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 these nuts, Tito, Chuck, 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 Tito, Chuck, Chuck, Shock, Chuck, 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 Cheeto, Cheeto, Chuck, Tito, Tuck, Timpo, something, Kike, I suck cock, ass magnet, butt plug, Chuck, 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 Dick, Tito, Tick, these nuts, Chuck, Cheese, Wits, Chuck, Fuck, what Chuck, 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 Fat, Fuck, Chuck, 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 Fuck, Chuck, Chuck, Tits, Chuck, Tito, Tito, Chuck, Baby, Ball Sack, Go in the Dark G String, Penis, so fab tits, huh? Content Fantastic. Tito to go. Oh my uh, God. Chuck Tito vagina. Yeah, that's great. All right, <laughs> all right. Settle down, chat room. Settle, settle the fuck down. I love it. And OJ Simpson says, kill my wife. All right. Thank you very much, chat room. That was insane. <laughs> Jesse did a fantastic job. Rate her job of reading the chat there. <laughs> 10 being the greatest of all time, one being the worst. Let me know right now. Oh, my God. I don't think we've ever seen the chat move that fast. We've had thousands of people in this chat before. And, and that might be the fastest. That might be the fastest. Crazy stuff over there. Thanks, Man, Drunk Savage. They're going. Yeah, with dragons, we're loose. Uh, 15,500 will let them fly again We'll release them one more time Thank you so much for joining us But we're going with Tito over here 
not by rooting. Lots of tens. Thank you guys. Yeah, they love it. They love it, Jesse. <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. If you guys are having fun in the chat, let us know with a yes, yes or no. Right now, let me know if you guys are having a good time tonight. And if you're an OG MMA hole or a new MMA hole, if you're part of this community, hit me with the wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. I want to wonderful, see that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful in the chat because everyone that is subscribed is immediately part of the greatest community on YouTube. Okay. The anthem is being sung, Jesse. I'm going to put my hand on my chesticles. They're having a wonderful, wonderful time in the chat. It's great. You're not going to hear the national anthem. Do you want to sing along with her? Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wait for the land of the free <laughs> and the home of the brave. There you go. Look at that. The flag is waving over here. And Jessie did her re rendition of the national anthem. <laughs> it was fantastic, wasn't it? it was right, who is this broad singing? Is she anyone? Is she a singer? Who is she? Who is this girl? Okay. I had to be quiet because um, neighbors. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's do it. Chuck oh, versus Tito. OJ Simpson. Chat. What? She's got a beer gut. But I'd give her the juice. <laughs> right, he's talking about the singer, Jesse. Uh, beer gut, but he's, he'd give her the juice. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. All right, so Frank Mir, Rashad Evans, and some other guy is the commentating team for Golden Boy. And we are about to see the main event of the evening. Now, you see this in regional promotions where they do the national anthem. You, you see it like before the main event and stuff like that or before the main card. The UFC, they, they do it earlier on and stuff, but um, this is different how, the, how this works. So far, Golden Boy, MMA, what do you rate it right now? 10 being the best. What do you rate Golden Boy well, so no far? it's no UFC. Uh, <laughs> I almost want to say Triton might be better, <laughs> but... Wait, to watch? You think Triton's better, huh? Wow. I like watching... Uh, Wow. Big, big pop for Triton fights over there. 10 being the... All right, so let's let's put UFC as 10, right? It's not right? horrible. Like, they, they have... You can see a good effort. It's not horrible. UFC is 10. Like a uh, 4. A 4? <laughs> like a... Wow. Like a 4. Let me know in the chat what you think. Now, we didn't see the main event yet. We're going, going to react to that immediately when it happens. But let me know in the chat, what do you rate this so far? And I want to judge the score now... And then the score after the main event. I'm curious because yeah, it could go well, either way. The main event could be fire, no, and we could be like, "Oh, this is great." The production alone, without the main event, just the production, it clearly needs work. Yeah, PFL is way way better than than the way they run this. But it is their first event, so you got to give them a pass. Actually, honestly, it's, it'll take like five events before you can really make a good judgment if this thing is going to work. Mm -hmm. You know. But compared UFC one to UFC, what are we on two thirty? What one now? So. Compare those two. I mean, it's apples and oranges. Jacob Bays says UFC 10, Bellator 7, and this is a 4. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair. That's a fair a ranking. Yeah, I agree. Uh, MMA blows all around, to be honest. Whoa. So now here's another question. How many people are boxing fans? Now, we are an oh. MMA show, but that's, that's the real question because Golden Boy is bringing in some of the boxing audience. So in the chat, how many people are boxing fans getting into MMA? This might bridge the gap a little bit more. I mean, Conor versus Mayweather really bridged the gap. I mean, we saw what the ratings on that. But this might be something here. Golden Boy doing MMA. But it was horrendous MMA. to watch. Like, what, Conor Floyd? Yeah, I didn't know. No, no, hold on. Oh, fuck. The event hold as on. a whole sucked. But Conor Floyd as a fight was fun. That was, that was fire. That was fun. What happened? Oh, hold on. Imagine if we lost the stream now. Connor got embarrassed, of course, at the end. But the first like three rounds, everyone's like, wait, does he have a fucking chance? And the answer is no. All right, here we go. Boxing is the phone book. <laughs> uh, Brian Royger. Every once in a while, he throws a good one out there. All right, let's see. 
Let's see what we say boxing in the chat. Boxing MMA, it's both boy book. killed boxing, LOL. I love boxing. I love both. Jesse, get him. Boxing died after the 90s. That was bullshit boxing fight. Tap out Connor, LOL. But I like UFC too. Fuck boxing. Boxing, Mexican, Irish, Connor, Floyd, blue dicks. Is this event in black and white? 50 and 0. Both brother. Love both. Boxing is great. Porno better than MMA. Boxing sucks. Love to boxing. Don't watch it though. Say 6-6 six, six for SFS. Dimitri Bivol versus Jean Pascal more entertaining boxing Muay Thai kickboxing MMA mm -hmm. uh, Klitschko bros killed boxing Floyd killed boxing both let me suck you daddy <laughs> wait who said that let me suck you daddy is it there is that his name or is that what he said no he said let me suck you daddy all right thank <laughs> you I don't know what that is all right okay fuck you Jesse all right, there we go. All right, so here we go. Everything. Oh, by the way, Creed was okay. I, I like Creed. It was some yeah, people it was good. I like it. didn't like the pacing of Creed. I like it. Was it. A little slow paced. I'm looking forward to, to the sequel. I want to see that shit. Do you think it's gonna be as good as the first one? Creed is a movie that you watch in the movies. I saw it in the movies and I saw it at home. It's way better in the movies. I mean, at the movie theater with the music blasting and the crowd going, like you felt like you were at a boxing fight. So Creed at the movies was fantastic. At home, it dropped a little bit. It's not the same. A lot of movies are like that. But movies are so expensive. Who the hell wants to pay for movies, right? Anyway. All right, Jesse. Let's let's react to Chuck versus Tito. We're going to be live on Monday, on this channel Monday. But there's a channel called Not the MMA Holes. We're bringing it back to life soon. So if you're not subscribed to Not the MMA Holes, link in the description. JBH has a channel as well. Link in oh, the description. Super and we have a website, the MMAholes.com. Vacant four, really. Premier FC is nothing less than a six. <laughs> really fighting for Premier over there. Hold on a second. Is this really Glenn now? I don't know if this is Glenn anymore. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this real I don't know anymore. I don't know who's who. Fake and four, uh really. Premier FC is nothing less than a six. <laughs> I don't know if that's Glenn. Does that really say much? I, I you can't know. say that. Is it Glenn? I don't know. I, I can't tell anyone. Is that really Glenn? Ah. I need to know. <laughs> you get the text from Karen. What the fuck? No, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, with arms wide open. With arms wide open. All right. How is Golden Boy handling MMA right now? Do you think they are doing a good job? Says Jeff Austin. For the first event... It's watchable, okay? It's not unwatchable. Tito Ortiz is walking into the cage right now with the traditional flag, one side Mexican and one side USA. I want you to clean your video. And we, hey, we got a subscriber to not the MMA holes over here, Michael Fletcher Jr. So wants to see some gaming over there. Wants to clean our vagina. Okay. Here we go. Tito's walking out right now. I got to say this. One thing about Tito Ortiz is... His entrance is always fun, right? That's one thing about Tito. He's got this fucking, you know, the hat on with the fucking, the flag. We've seen it so many times. It kind of gives you chills a little bit when you see Tito walk out to the cage. It throws you back. It brings you back. So this is cool. You got the lights going over here. Presentation, not so bad. But Tito Ortiz makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm curious to see how Chuck comes out of here. What do you think about this? Now, Now listen, you're a little uh, newer in the game. But watching Tito walk out like this. Yeah, I've seen the history and stuff like that. But like, do you I've think like this is like this is kind of vintage shit right here? Does this is this cool to you? Yeah, or? I I like like now. Look at the production. Look at the difference. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I give it a little more credit now. Um, yeah, to me it's cool, for sure. All right, so Tito Ortiz is disrobing, get ready to go to the cage. Did he come out to Eminem? Actually, we didn't hear the song. Hold on, let's listen to the song. We have the sound off. It's so muffled, I can't hear it. Can you hear the song? We cannot hear the song, unfortunately. We we keep the sound low because we can't really show or, you know, oh, let you guys listen to any of the shit. So chat. that sucks. Real, real. Vinny the chin has no relation to Cody no chin. <laughs> Fun fact. There you go. Brian says, Team Ortiz, can you lift me higher? Can, can you lift? Me higher. Shit band. All right. All right. Tito has entered the cage. Looks around, absorbs the audience, and here he goes. Tito trotting around. Old confidence. Tito is the first to enter the trilogy match. Get ready. Chuck, with his crazy eyes, is about to enter the cage himself. 
Is this a five round fight? It's not a, uh, any championship fight or anything. Is this a five round? I don't even know. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Just is like, I want fucking pizza. Let's see. Um, I don't even know. Let's see. Does it say over here on the tap? Uh, main event. Three, five minute rounds. Only three rounds. That's it. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we need any more than three rounds in this fight. So, yeah. All right. Uh, Real Real says five rounds. Not according to Tapology. Chuck going to pull a hammy on his way to the ring. I just hope he doesn't die tonight. Real talk, yo, says Kainato. We might see a fatality. All right. 835 people watching the MMA holes react to Chuck Liddell about to walk into the cage. All right, here we go. Chuck Liddell. With Tito Ortiz. The lights have dimmed. The name is on the Jumbotron. Let's put up the volume a little bit to hear what's going on here. The crowd. Are you ready for action? Here we go. MMA hole says Mean Joe Green. Left my ass off. This chat got me rolling. Yeah, this chat this is what it's about, man. The cringe chat over here. The best community, the best chat on YouTube. These people are wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. They keep the show going and flowing. So shout out to the chat room. Shout out to the MMA holes. All right, here we go. Jesse's falling asleep. But you, you got this, Jess. One more fight. I have a headache. One more fight, Jesse. Just chug that whiskey. You'll be fine. All right. Chuck Liddell, they show the back, the traditional mohawk. And here he goes. Does Chuck trot in? Does he run in? Does he jog in? Does he walk in? What is Chuck going to do? Chuck's got the wide open shirt very calmly strutting through the hallways. This man is almost 50 years old. Chuck Liddell looks good, right? In good shape. I hope I'm his uh, in his shape when I'm approaching 50. Ah, super chat. We got Ben Frank. These guys eligible for social security yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's right around the corner. <laughs> Thank you, Ben Frank. <laughs> Uh, Enrico wants you to do the Iceman pose. Do the Iceman pose. Do the Iceman pose. You gotta do it immediately. Right now. No, you do the Iceman pose. No, you do. You were asked to do it. Knocked out Tito Ortiz in two previous meetings. That's right. Chuck Liddell is limping on the way to the cage. <laughs> I tell you what, just by looking at this, I mean, it looks like they're carrying Chuck in. He looks so old. Mm. I don't trust this. Wait, is he limping on the way to the cage? Am I am I am I seeing things? Is it, he looks like he's fucking limping, right? He's got the old man walk with the limp. No, he he walked. Remember during the open workouts, he was walking like that. <laughs> Power cut. Oh my god, this is in, gonna be so bad. In five bad. years, you'll be walking like that. And that's true. That's true. Enough. Well, give me some more years. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's ten it's years. Like Forty nine. Oh my god, years. how dare you! 10 years? All right, Chuck is taking off his clothing. About to enter the cage. I, I feel like this... I feel a, I have a bad feeling about this. I feel this is going to be hard to watch. Like, like devastating finish. Hard to watch. I really feel that. I don't know. Chuck is in great shape, you know? Guy's, what, 49 years old? They're all saying his knees are fucked up. Yeah. <sighs> He pulled a growing walking. <laughs> Call the fight. Chuck is too old. Imagine like before Chuck gets into the fucking cage, they just throw the towel into the cage. He just, they just toss it. <laughs> yeah, the cage opens and like, all right, they check his gloves and make sure he's all fucking lubed up. And right when he steps on the thing, the fucking corner just throws the towel in. And there he goes. Chuck entered the, he entered the cage. Everything's fine. He's, tr he's lightly trotting around the cage. Chuck Liddell. A legend of the sport. We may joke, but oh, this is... Oh, my God. He's got, like, the grandpa walk. Oh, my God. What are we doing? This guy's got his puppy. There's a man in the crowd with his <laughs> puppy. This is what we're watching. Oh, I'm so glad I paid for this. Super chat. Drunk Savage. JBH should do the Grave Digger if Tito wins. All right. Do the Grave... I don't know what the Grave Digger is. Isn't that the... His finish, maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know what the grave digger the body is. In. is that, I know the car grave digger, the truck. I don't know. All right, here we go. 43 versus 48 years old. Both fighters are six for two, and there goes the stats. See you later. All right. This is the fight that we're going to react to. 1,024 people watching. Welcome to the channel. The MMA holes reacting to this legendary fight. Well, it went one way two times, but can oh, Tito Ortiz get redemption? Phil Leonetti is a rat. Liddell by Co. All right. So Liddell by KO. From your lips to God's ears. I would like to see that, but. Zion Lux Gaming. I'm a loyal lady. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh. My goodness. All right. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Let's react. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Here we go. They're making the final announcements over here. Tito Ortiz is doing that bouncing back and forth movement that he usually does, shaking. That like WWE thing that he does. Tito Ortiz doing the WWE. I'm second guessing oh. my loyal ladiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super Kevin Costa. Chat. Super chat. I'll take over place once most hits fifty. <laughs> God damn it, Kevin. Jesus Christ. It's terrible. How dare you? All right. He's gonna fill in. Kevin Costa. All right. What do you say? All right. Well, he's got money. So. Oh, he's going to fill in for you? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> my She's apologies. Like, yeah, all right, sure. No, my yeah. apologies. I I didn't. I, I'm, I have a headache. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting yeah. a weird headache. Like, I think all it's right. the con congestion. But, like, hmm. but I'm good. I just, I, I miss, I'm sorry. Dare so, you. what? He's going to replace you <laughs> when you hit 50? <laughs> Everyone, everyone's way wishing my death. All right. What's the Deadpool on me? He's not going anywhere anytime soon. You can't mm -hmm. get rid of this guy. I am Deadpool, actually. <laughs> I'm starting to look like him without the mask. All right. Here we go. Tito Ortiz. Ooh, getting the booze. Tito Ortiz is getting the booze. Man. Bouncing back and forth. The pressure. He's the villain for sure. Chuck Liddell getting the cheers. The good guy in this fight. <clears throat> Never moss the fucking boss. That's right, Sean. You're Sean knows where it's at. This thing is really creaky. 48 years old, 6 for 2, 203.4 pounds. Chuck Liddell throwing his hands in the air. I'm excited. Is the venue packed? Yeah, it looks like it's a packed crowd now. In the beginning, not so much, but right now, we have a full house. You got fucking Uncle Jesse in the crowd. You got the fucking Ashley twins. What are they called? The Olsen twins? Olsen twins. <laughs> They're all there. Liddell looks fit. He does. Real, really. He does look like he's in very good shape. Liddell is smiling. Ooh. Tito Ortiz is bouncing. Now, how nervous? I mean, Tito's got it. There's got to be way more pressure on Tito right now. He's lost twice to this guy. And if he loses, he loses to a fucking 48-year-old man. All right, here we go. Let's get ready to start the clock. I almost didn't start the clock. I got lost. I like it. I like the presentation of the main event. So far, the main event has brought me back into this organization. What I say is this. Get more circus fights on the De La Hoya promotion. Right? Right. Because this is fun. This is actually kind of fun. I'm digging this. The crowd's into it. You know, the card was decent on the way up. It wasn't horrible. But I think get some more circus shits on here. I'm in. There we go. It's got a belt. Man, this is so weird to watch. Chuck Tito. They're in the cage again. What the fuck? I can't believe I'm watching this. Chuck Liddell. God, he looks awful. He's crouching around, circling. Tito is moving forward. Chuck Liddell is threatening the right. He doesn't Tito look good. Tito Ortiz is circling, slowly moving forward. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. This is, thank God this is three rounds. All right. Here we go. Tito comes in with two jabs. Not much hits. Tito comes in with a lunging left. Chuck sweeps out of the way. Chuck Liddell looks like a fucking grasshopper out there, right? He doesn't he look like a like an old age, like Jiminy Cricket. Eats a leg kick. Tito Ortiz. God. Liddell moving back. Tito I have they, a bad feeling about this. They both look like shit, to be honest. Tito is showing some respect to Liddell for his power. As not much is being thrown right now in the first round. This Liddell. is like Lewis and Ganu all over again. <laughs> well, not yet. Hold on. Just wait. And they are white. 
Chuck Liddell <laughs> coming forward with terrible punches. Oh my god. Tito Ortiz lands a left. It's like, oh my god, what Chuck I respect, Liddell I respect him for being in the in the cage. It looked like he was punching in sand. Chuck Liddell <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what are we watching? I kinda hope the Liddell knocks him out. It'd be so funny. Tito is moving forward. Oh, Tito with the right lands on the side of Chuck's head. Chuck definitely has brain damage. There's no doubt about it. Oh my god. Tito Ortiz moving forward. Maybe Chuck has one more moment left in him. He says he wants to fight after this. I, I, I don't know if I want to see that. Circling around. I mean, it's been a long time since since Chuck's been in the cage, right? So we have to let him get you know comfy in there, right, Jess? Liddell <laughs> coming forward a couple of rights. It's like he's in slow motion. Now Chuck is is backing up. Tito hunting. Not much strikes have landed in either direction. And here comes Tito with a couple of jabs. Chuck circling around towards Tito's power arm. Tito comes upstairs with a leg kick, telegraphed from a mile away. Chuck just gets out of the way. What are we watching? What, is this really happening? A, a slow jab coming in from Chuck. <laughs> what are we doing? How many people paid for this shit? Oh my god. Whoa, Chuck coming over the top of the right. Stumbles oh to the god. ground as Tito. And that looked like a slip. <sighs> I don't know, Chuck back up on the feet, but oof. These two legendary fighters are doing it one more time. A nice jab, stiff jab comes in by Tito. Lands on the Iceman's face. The Iceman rocking the red gloves. The Iceman hits him with the right, and Tito moving forward. Tito hunting. Chuck circling towards the left arm of Tito. Comes in with a leg kick. Nice leg kick by Chuck. Oh, Chuck eats a left. Every time Chuck eats a jab, he takes like 40 steps backwards. Circling around. Well, good jo job by Chuck to be m mobile, right? He's he's definitely keeping Tito off his feet. A couple of jabs coming in from Tito. Tito Ortiz, Chuck Liddell number three. It's happening right now. <laughs> A slow motion right comes in and lands on Tito's face. Tito eats it and moves forward. Oh, my God. Chuck, Chuck versus Stipe Ooh. next. Oh, I just missed it. What was it? What happened there? I don't know if he tripped. Like he went almost face first in the in the cage. Tito, right? Tito, yeah. I don't know what happened there. They're both back up and good to go. Tito moving around. He's like, "Come on, hit me!" Oh, <laughs> Tito's like, "Come on, hit me in the mouth." Tito's Tito's taunting Chuck. He's like, "Come on, hit me!" He's talking shit now. Chuck is like, "All right," throws a right, and that did nothing to Tito. Tito's like, "That did nothing." Moves forward. Chuck is going backwards, and Chuck eats a left by Tito. Oh, a right comes in by Chuck, a left by Tito. Tito Ortiz moving forward again. Chuck with crazy eyes, and there they go. They're punching. A right comes in by Tito. Chuck is out cold. Holy shit. The right comes in, and just like I said earlier, this is going to be ugly. The right lands on Chuck, and Chuck drops like a fucking... Oh, my God. Tito Ortiz is celebrating so unclassy. Listen. Here's the thing. Tito Ortiz. Okay. You got your redemption. But, but he's 50 years but old. But what is going on? That is... Uh, it, oh. It looked like he punched an 80-year-old man. That's what it looked like. To the people that thought that Chuck Liddell had a chance in that fight. Not a healthy fight at all. That was so uncomfortable to watch. And of course, our stream is buffering. What timing. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen. Chuck Liddell. I want you to watch this replay, Chuck Liddell. Never ever step back in the cage. Please do me a favor. Bang your hot wife. Do whatever you have to do. Raise your beautiful family. Maybe commentate or do you meet and greets, sign your legend, but don't get back in that cage. What are, what are we doing? Oh my god. The right lands by Tito Ortiz in the first round. Chuck falls like a fucking like a tree. Well, this that, wasn't worth it. And then he gets it. a couple of extra shots in. Tito known for hitting after the fight's over. I mean, here we go. So right comes in and just kind of hits him on the Oh, that's not the that's not the right. Hold on. They're showing some highlights. That's probably There's what the it. right. That one hit him right in the mush. Chuck goes down. It's like, "Oh my god. He Oh my god." Every fucking thing started jiggling on him. It's like, oh, that sucks. And he's like, I'm going to sleep. Here we go. 
T. Oh God, Chuck overexposed. Comes in, ba bang. Oh my God. Tito landed two nice ones, a left and then that right crosses. Chuck goes down like I don't even know where I am. His fate hit, face hits the mat. Tito comes in with a couple of lefts to make sure that he's dead. First round, that is it. It's a wrap. Tito Ortiz gets the win. Oh, golden boy. Almost was responsible for a death. Chuck Liddell was limping to the cage. He was literally limping to the cage. No, he had an old man walk. Like, that was ridiculous. And then Tito Ortiz, which is classy. Uh, all right. Jesse, what, what's going on in this chat? What's the reaction over here? Jesse's stunned right now. She's still stunned. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts? I don't, it, it, was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth it? For us it? it was. We didn't pay for it. Yeah, it was really worth it. What a disappointment. You know, like, I think I'd have to agree with you. I think, like, it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Oh, not just for Liddell, for Tito. Chat. Tito hit him with the Megacoctron shaft of hell. That's exactly what happened. Thank you, Megacoctron. Appreciate it. Uh, Dana White said to Chuck Liddell, please, stop fighting. He said, stop fighting. No more. We don't do this to yourself. So 10 years passes and then he does this. I hope he got paid. You know, I'm sure he got paid a nice chunk of change for this. But he's like, yeah, I want to fight Rampage next. You better show respect. At least show some fucking respect to Chuck Liddell. Let's see what Tito says. No respect. Well, he's a dick. He's a douchebag. He got 250000 for this as John Doe. Or 200 k It wasn't worth it, Brian. I agree. It's not worth it. I mean, it's a lot of money, but you can, you can do your meet and greets and stuff Knocked like that. Knocked out a 50-year-old man. No respect showed afterward. And he's, like, proud of himself. He's a piece of shit. All right, let's see what he says here. Could you put into words what this means to you? He's wooing. He's talking to his son. It's funny how this guy, you know... He, He's a tough guy, fighter. He talks like a faggot. Faggot. <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Man, the fans, I think they feel they got gypped in this one. He stopped Chuck, Chuck Liddell and he said it like he said he would. The crowd is standing up listening to his post-fight speech. His new and improved wife is, is crying on the sides. I'm so disappointed. If you're just tuning in, the Iceman gets smoked in the first round. It was ugly. You can step this really ugly. Express. Like, really ugly. I'm glad I didn't pay for this. Oh, speaking of not paying. That was hard to watch. Grew up watching Lydell and Tito. I honestly believe Chuck Kessim for of CTE. Yeah. To think that Tito would be a warm-up fight then get in there with John Jones <laughs> after. <laughs> He need to stop now before he gets worse. If anyone lets Chuck Liddell fight again, they should be stripped of their fighter's license. They should not let Chuck Liddell fight again. It's over. It, it's over for the Iceman. Enough. It's sad. You know, these guys, they are competitive. They're warriors at heart. And who are we to say to stop fighting? But what we saw there, I mean, that was embarrassing. It was such a disappointment. From to beginning to end, and it didn't last very long. Chuck is in there with his family. Tito's showing now respect to Liddell. Oh, now he shows respect. Here we go. Uh, here we go. He goes, thank you for giving me the opportunity. There we go. Some respect. All right, finally, they hug it out. All right. So Tito acts like a complete piece of shit and then realizes, okay, the adrenaline wore off. douche. And now he gives him respect. Now let's see. All right, let's see. All right, so Tito is being the typical douchebag that he is again. Like, it just stings to watch. All right, let's see what Chuck has to say. <laughs> let's see. Like, why you interview with the poor guy? I mean... It, it fucking uh, stings. Let's see what he says. He, he did get in great shape. I mean, 
You see, he was ready. He got caught. He got caught. All right, they're asking him if, if everything felt the same in the cage. It wasn't the best showing. All right, I'll listen. I can't. Do we have to listen to this anymore? All right, here's the deal. Chuck Liddell, please. No more. No more Chuck Liddell. Fantastic fighter, legend of the sport, champion Chuck Liddell. Now he has a blemish, a Tito Ortiz blemish. This has got to sting more than anything. And Tito Ortiz finishes him in the first round. Chat room, what are your final thoughts over here? As we wind this down, we will be back on the Monday show. We have three shows a week, so if you're not subbed, do it now. If you have subbed, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the likes, the donations. Share away. Tell everyone that you are now an MMA hole and you're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. A9 Jewel, this should have been free. Ali Avzar, okay, Tito, I missed it. Bucky Liddell says Nancy Galee. Uh, Darion Sun Cal, Liddell Ortiz, four. Christopher Shelton, Jesse Hart, Tito, Canadian Minion. Anyone who paid for that fucking is a fucking dummy. <laughs> Tito is a better fighter if we are being real here, says my opinion. Olympia Low Life says peace uh, and love holds. LOL says Harvey. Liddell versus Ken Shamrock. Book it, Scott Coker. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. No, no, thank you. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Tito Chuck forces do chronic Van Shipman says Tito versus John Jones now. Fanatic Rex says MMA buds. Marcus Clark. Kings, your mother's ring. Now Flanagan, a good night. I'm glad I didn't pay for this shit, says James Ortega. Casey Taylor says Chuck versus Butterbean UFC. Wayne and Delker, thanks for commentary, guys. Who wants is Brian Hendricks? Tito Ortiz. On course says Mr. 2012 The End. And H says Tito is always a douchebag. Mr. 2012 The End rematch. Sean Rose says thank you, MMA holes. You're both the best. JD Walker says thanks, guys. Chuck is still a great treasure. This is better than the, the end of Golden Boy MMA. Or this better be the end of Golden Boy <laughs> MMA, says All Brian right. Rivera. That's a good question. I think we should end on that. What is next for Golden Boy? Was this I, a fail? Was this a success? That's a conversation for when the stream shuts down. In the comments section down below, thoughts on the Golden Boy promotion. Jesse, what are your thoughts? I like the concept. I don't know if it will be better than the UFC, but I think there is always room for improvement. All right. So there you go. Let me know in the comment section when this thing winds down. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we'll be back live on Monday. We also have a second channel, not the MMA holes down below. Check out JBH's channel. She has a channel as well. And we are taking over YouTube one fook at a time. Jesse! Don't be an a-hole. Be an MMA hole.